Last time on Acquisitions Works Part 2. The party made their way to... Uh, started on the trek to from, from Waterdeep to Phandalin. Uh, it was about a seven-day trek. Uh, a couple of things happened along the way. Your first one is you crossed the Mirror of Dead Men, a, a sort of marsh swampland. Uh, you spotted a cloaked figure and two bugbears just harassing a lizard folk. Um, you bravely help the lizard folk uh scared killed two of the assailants and the other one ran off and the lizard folk thank you and also gave you an opportunity for in the future uh once you're set up in Fandolin with your uh acquisitions incorporated franchise to sell you potions of water breathing continuing on from that a few days later you made your way found a uh, a naked man sitting in the middle of the road he was a uh gave you a riddle which you eventually passed, and he he gave it to you after you had like five, six guesses amongst the four, five of you with Gorko. Um, and so you were did not have a curse befall you. Uh, he's past very that, he's you very did, generous. Very generous. And, um, <laughs> past it was, that, it was a lighthouse. Really. It was lighthouse. Was the answer. Past that, you had uh, then came across a somewhat familiar sight to players two horses in a sort of uh, blocked uh, road in... the sides of the road were blocked off by embankments and forest and there were dead horses and an overturned wagon in the way. You saw some goblins but it turns out it was staged or something and then the horses came to life and you fought several uh, two skeleton horses dispatching them and uh, getting on your way you eventually made your way to Phandalin finally arriving and this is where we find ourselves now. The world famous Fandolin. <laughs> and you are Epic correctly stories. on the map now. So I will be switching over because there are mostly backdrops in this um in this one to using uh roll twenties audio for anything that's not um uh battle music. So just keep that in mind if you need to adjust audio so the the, the non-battle music will be coming through your browser. Um, and the other thing before we continue... Uh-oh, we lost one player. Um, another thing as we continue <laughs> is uh, as you were traveling, one thing I forgot to mention is that you still have the orrery with you, which you did know. Did anybody want to investigate that study it or anything as they were traveling what? to Fandolin? We did that like before the last session. Like, see... You'd you like did. Did you want to do any other further things with it, I should say? I want to see if I can tell how much it would be worth to sell. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me a, um... This would be an intelligence check? Yeah, it's, give me just a general intelligence check. We determined that, like, pieces are missing, so it's, like, pretty much Correct. can't do anything. I think. Eight. Uh, you think that it might fetch you at least five silver, maybe six in the right place? Oh, that's, a, that's a drink. That's a... <laughs> what were the rolls again? Mm -hmm. What were the rolls? To investigate, just to look at the ore. If you want to do that, tell me what you want to do. He was specifically looking at the uh, price of, no. if you uh, were to yeah. sell it. What would you like to do? I Dust. am... Hmm. I want to see like what parts are missing. If I can hmm. that. Okay, we'll do that. Let me Let me get Dustin's first. I'm going to see if it has any religious significance. All right, make a religion check, and then, Joey, you can make another... Um... 14. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Joey, make me a... Are you proficient in any sort of tools? I don't think so. I'm a wizard. Okay. <laughs> uh, usually a background will give you, like, maybe one tool, so... Um, if you're not, then just go ahead and make me an intelligence check. Uh, and while you're doing that, uh, Nesmore, do you see... You, you don't see any sort of religious significance that you are familiar with. It could be something that it's just not familiar to you. It could be something that's like an ancient cult worship thing, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it's something from the uh, deity that the plane of clockwork, the plane of logic worships, but nothing that you're familiar with. I have a herbalism mm -hmm. kit. I don't think that works with clockwork items, though. <laughs> but um, I will say, with your 12, you have a feeling that maybe 
among the housing and whatever, there's probably maybe six items that are missing, like six internal components that are missing. Significant components, I should say. We need to purchase a 3D printer and find the missing pieces. <laughs> What's a also printer? Do it. <laughs> What's a 3D? Oh, I guess I do know what a printer is. Go ahead and give me, Joey, a um, Arcana check. And anybody else that is fluent in magic, if they want to do that as well. Okay. I'm more divine. My, he's more twenty. Divine Fair enough. In nature, so. Fair enough. Barry's going to do it just because. Just because. You, you see someone doing like, this must be yeah. holy magic. This is holy. Yeah, Barry rolled a 13. <laughs> hey, don't touch yeah. Barry. It's very delicate. I'm, <laughs> I'm investigating it no, with no. my magic powers. I, I hold it up <laughs> real high so I can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> Is, Respectable so thirteen, rude. though it's it's not it's you still, you get a little bit gist of it that you know this is definitely some sort of magic item. You're not familiar with the type of magic, but the this definitely does have magic to it. Joey, you would probably know that you could um, attune to this. Um, I thought I you're not did. sure what you would get you, out of it. You told me not to missing. do it because that's spoilers or something. Uh, no, 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 I didn't give you the item initially because it would have spoilers. I have since made a item that is just the housing, and I will give you updated versions of those items as you collect things or learn things or blah, blah, blah. So what should I search um, for? As, as you get your eight gym badges, you will learn more <laughs> about this. <laughs> What's that search for? Um, or, like, or... Um, I will let you know if you wish to attune to it. Oh, yeah. You should do okay. it. Okay. Always so do we'll it. Give you the so... First off, I'll just give this to you on uh, roll 20. Show to everyone. Hey, spell or. This is O R R E R Y. Oh, I'll make sure I have um, homebrew on. Yeah, I will give you. Yeah, turn on homebrew and I will. I made an item for this. Let me make sure I have the proper name. Uh, collections. My homebrew creations. DD Beyond, everybody. Helps you make things custom. Um. The low, low price of. <laughs> uh, where did I put Orrery the Wanderer? So look up for or Orrery of the Wanderer. Do D E U X. So anything that I'm doing will you know, have D E U X. No, we, we we only had one game. Yes, and this is part yeah, do. I guess you're not wrong. <laughs> I stole that from Hot Shots because this is know. this is like remember remember canon we have done this this is like many many times i am Here. attuning to the ori <laughs> oh, i hope that goes the, uh... okay this time <laughs> so okay. here's what you you know immediately with your studying and your attuning to it is that this is a powerful item there will be some properties that you are unfamiliar with that might not be there yet they might not be working in its current state but there's definitely going to be some there. Um, there are several components missing. You determine that to be maybe six, give or take. Um, and each of them would probably be a powerful relic in their own right, based on how the magic would flow through this this clockwork item. Um, whether they can be used separately or have to be attached to here, you're not sure, or what they would do when attached, etc. Well, that's actually However, fits into Zeke's like, kit pretty well. Oh yeah, no, it's actually pretty pretty uh, works pretty well. Um, you will, however, know right now that um, there's a you have an ability on there called Future Echoes, with or without its components. The orrery lets you catch momentary glimpses of the future that warn you of danger. As long as the orrery is within thirty feet of you, you gain a plus one bonus to AC. He does more. Does more. Punch yeah. me. Yeah. Punch me. Uh. I I I I punch him. Okay. Roll me right. a uh, unarmed. roll me a strength check. Sword. Yeah, unarmed. You're, you're proficient, so give me a strength check plus two. It was perfect. Seventeen. Because that's that's perfect. That's because that as perfect. a seventeen would have hit me before, but now I have something I I call a turtle sense, um, <laughs> and I dodge at the last second, saying I knew the direction of your punch. Forward. <laughs> Which was at my face. <laughs> I mean, it was the obvious choice, but I'm glad to see that you've that you're a better able to defend yourself, even though you are, well, a squishy wizard. I really I wish, Dustin, that you second. said. I have. I really, 
I really wish, Dustin, that you said, I punch him again. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm sorry, go ahead. It's a worry seems to give me a split second glimpse in the future. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That happens sometimes, Zeke. What, <laughs> what am I going to say next? Um, uh, a roll to say a word. <laughs> <laughs> Barry states Barry says knife is going to make some kind of squeal and then say hey gang can we get on with this this I'm hungry <laughs> I mean yeah, I mean well it works you know once is a you know once is a coincidence and as he says this he just he just lightly slaps uh, roll another round I'm sure <laughs> buddy nat 20 nat 20 this Ah, yeah, no good, but well, the other thing, I, the other thing I will say, sorry to cut in the roleplay, but it specifically doesn't say that you need to be attuned for that to work. So I'm going to rule that as, as long as somebody is attuned to it, it works as an aura. So well, I'm going to give everybody says, a plus it, one. Yeah, well, it's fine if you want to do that, but it says of me. As long as he is within feet of you. Um, okay, you know what? Never mind. Mm. <laughs> the other thing you get is that with or without his components, the orrery lets you catch a momentary glimpses of the future that warn you of danger. I just read that. Into the void. With or without his components, the orrery, the attuned orrery infuses you with your spirit of tumultuous energy of the planes. Over time, your alignment changes to chaotic neutral, and you are compelled to engage with and explore the most dangerous planar realms. This is going to just something essentially treated as like a flaw of your character that is slowly okay. building over time. You get the urge to do this while you're attuned to it. Dang, can we do a huddle? No. That was okay. unexpected of me. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, so. yeah. Except except with Zeke. Everyone, we're gonna huddle, but I'm not doing Zeke. something spontaneous and start running around. <laughs> but it's slowly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I joined the model. No, Zeke. Oh, no, no, okay, Zeke. you know what? Fine, Zeke. It's here. You should have. You should have a statement in this huddle. Um, so gang, Zeke just attuned with the orrery, as you can mm -hmm. all see. Yep. Um, hey. there is, by my calculations and glimpses of the future that I have, I, I have this too. Um, there's gonna be at least. Uh, Barry holds up his hands. Three to 40% chance we're going to have to kill Zeke. <laughs> well, I mean, he... Well, um... Easy go, I don't, easy go. I mean, not now. It does It does feel rather other planar. Yeah, extra, I mean, uh, it's, it's extra not planar. now. That's the word. But, but I'm just putting it on the table. This has happened before. I finally arrived. What are we all talking about? Oh, we're talking about uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> and, and how we're going to have to take care of you well, at some reckless. point. Yeah, we're going to we're going to take care of you real good yeah. if you need it. Is that not right, everyone? We're going to yeah. take care of Zeke if he needs it. Uh, I thought know? we were going to kill him if he comes with problem. Yeah, Gorko's that's what I, I was I was saying. I was saying Gorko. Mm. But like, we're not gonna we're gonna try to help him. This oh. is, this is, yeah, we're gonna help Zeke. We're gonna fine. help him control his urges. You know, we're all a everybody's accountability. And, and if it doesn't, we can help him so. die. Yeah. It, you know. If you say, if I prom, I swear that if you succumb to your extra planar urges, I will end you to save both yourself yeah. and everybody else. How does that sound? That sounds great, Nesmore. That's, That's a true friend. I have some conflicted um, opinions of my new business partners. Well, I mean. Do you do you want to become? Have you a, worked at us lately? <laughs> do you three wish to become a kobold and a dragon? I mean, it, if you do, you want to become an extra planar, uh, existential, uh, yeah. You know, and there's more just kind of grumble well, rambles maybe off. I do. Into... <laughs> hmm. You know, I hold the orb um, tighter. <laughs> well, I'm no. sure this won't. Oh, I'm just saying. Good to know, everyone. We're, we're ready. Yeah. Don't worry, Zeke. We're not going to kill you if you're good. So all you gotta do is stay good. It's not a problem, I, right? I, I sense my alignment slowly shifting. Okay, if well, he's not neutral. Evil. Is he okay if he's neutral? I mean, neutral's fine. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I, mean, I, I, find, I find myself neutral curious sometimes. I understand that. I, I know how yeah. I could feel. You want to dip the toe? You want to yeah. dip your little toe in? That's okay. <laughs> yeah. I... Nesmore is going to make some preparations for oh, look, it's eventualities that may have to happen. Let me case. prep fireball and <laughs> poisons. <laughs> Plus one to um, turtles. <laughs> So as we continue, so we'll say you're do you've been doing this on your way to Fanwind. Yeah, we're doing that on the this car where you do that yeah. we have. Uh, that you probably have. We've had uh, all as along. you arrive at Fanwind, I will set the scene again as we did at the end of the last episode. This modest sized town is comprised of some fifty buildings, most of most of which show signs of regular upkeep. Farms and an apple orchard mark the outer edge of the town with houses and shops closer in. Town folk are milling about in the central square and on the adjacent green. Two people stand on stage on the green, addressing the crowd, uh, but the distance to them, along with a steady chorus of cheers, boos, and shouts, obscures what's being said. Rising from a small hill overlooking the town is an old manor house, and that is specifically over here on the right for everybody. Um, I'm sorry, not for everybody, for Dustin, as everybody else knows that is the manor. <laughs> um, at least... It was an old manor house. Most of its walls have collapsed in what appears to be a recent disaster, with traces of smoke still rising from the piles of tumbled stone. From the manor? So you make your way in... What's that? From the manor? Has like rising from the smoke. manor, yeah. It's sort of like just like those... It's not like it's been currently on fire, it's just obviously fire that has still sort of been burning over for days and days, and it's just little bits of, you know, smoke coming up. Mm -hmm. Uh... In this town square, you see these two people over here. The town square being... Bah. Um, a portly, well-dressed male human on the stage points unexpectedly at your group and shouts, blah, blah. You see? This is exactly what I mean. When things just start to calm down in Fandolin, more murderous vagrants show up. They probably have something to do with what's happened to Tresendar Manor and, and the livestock that's missing and started gone missing. And it's only a matter of time before this all ends in misery and bloodshed. I promise you, I promise you all. Uh, the portly man on the left is the one saying that. On the right is, is uh, after a bunch of cheers and sort of like jeers and whatnot, and people sort of like gr mob mentality agreeing with him. It's like, now, now we need to be careful because... Adventurers have been here in the past, and they have helped save us all. They have pre benefited the town. We have done this. And he's a little bit more sheepish and is not sort of pumping the crowd, even though what he's saying is likely true. Um, but the other one appears to be more of a politician sort of attitude. So, to see, this is the kind of uh, inexperience that we can't have here in Fandolin in leadership positions. At least not absolute leadership positions. And then um, kind of keep going on with just what appears to be some sort of political speech or debate. So, however, you are now in town. There are several locations here that are not marked on your map. So, what would you like to do? I'm staying away from politics. I think we should go find our house, our Acquisitions Incorporated house first. Yeah, like to get a. <laughs> we need to we need to put this. We need to put like our cart away. Oh yeah, we yes. have a cart. It's a nice cart. Yeah, we need that. We need to park it, and then okay. and then I want to get involved in local politics. <laughs> I'm gonna run for mayor. President right. Barry. I'd vote for you. Ah, there you go. The polls are looking up. <laughs> you you walk by some some just town folk and go. <laughs> You um, you walk by some t townsfolk as you're saying this. You're like, a goblin, a goblin mayor. Well, I never. And they just keep walking. Do they I'll, I'll put that in the nope. in the undecideds. <laughs> just because they're a little stinky doesn't mean they can't run a town. Not at all. Gorko, do you want to be my campaign manager? Oh, Gorko, that's me, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, do I have to write speeches? No, you just have to embezzle funds. Uh, that doesn't seem like a thing that good goblins do, but I am okay, digging the town you know in what? neutral. Knife, Knife you're going to be my campaign manager. I think you're really good at embezzlement. 
Uh, He'd probably um, be a backstabber. <laughs> can, I, can we have a vote to see who will be campaign manager? Okay, sure, we are a democracy. I vote for knife. I vote for knife. Uh, I too vote for knife. <laughs> I have a majority. I, I, I vote that, the ballot, the ballot I vote was confusing. that you're... I'd vote that Barry is the last person. Yeah, I would even vote audition. for a third party candidate. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, throw your vote away. <laughs> I am more, trying you're the most to... level headed. What are you doing at this point as everybody is arguing over who gets to vote to vote first? And I'm trying Make... to embezzle funds out of Barry's bag. Oh. <laughs> what'd you what what'd you say? Nesborn, you're the most level-headed. What would you yeah. like to do now that you are in town? There are uh, several locations eight. that are not marked on your map. You want to look for locations or things that you can do. Maybe we should Tell find like a um, visitor center and get like a pamphlet. I was, I was, I mean, I, 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 I Dustin, can pick. Yeah, Dustin, I try. I go ahead and I look for the nearest tavern. That's where the information is. Okay. Um, give me an investigation or perception check. Do you remember what it's called, Dustin? Dustin never was here. No, he oh, I was in. No, I came to. I was in Phantomland in one game. Yeah, yeah, we burned it down. It just wasn't in this game. <laughs> it was in uh, Ice Fire fourteen. Game. It's been right, a while. You go. So. Uh, you go to about here. Oh, that's and you see, you see on your on your um, uh, nearby two buildings that look like they could be taverns and or inn. One is noted as the Sleeping Giant, the other is noted as Stonehill Inn, which is probably the inn, but can also be a uh, um, tavern. Token layer, sorry, I missed that. Hmm. So you should see them on your map now. Let me know if any of these are missing well, their they're names. They're right next to each other. They want us to have like a fierce competition. <laughs> hmm. Let me see here. Hmm. Sleeping Both Giant. of these look viable. Yeah. Both of these look viable, but I can't really decide which. Mm. You're just like standing in Pop between the two, looking back mm. and forth. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Let's go to this place. This Let's looks go good. To giant. All right. Anybody like to go with him, or is he just walking off alone? I always uh, want to check out a new tavern. I'm so following I am... because I don't want to split up the party. Also, like okay. Barry doesn't know what to do. So he's just kind of tagging along. Zeke, what are you and Gorko doing? Um, people watching. All right. You're, we'll say that you're on the uh, town square. Boop. Make you guys smaller so you don't block as much Do we stuff. see big statues of our, uh, our characters in the past? Well, do you... Uh, ro roll me a d20. Joey? Five. As you were looking around for big statues, you drop your favorite d20 on the ground, and it lands in a five. You have to scramble to find it before people step on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> However, with that, we have a couple people going into the Sleeping Giant. We'll head over there. Uh, Sleeping Giant, where are you? This single-story tavern has seen better days. Its weathered sign pit probably depicts a prone giant, but whatever paint or carvings once adorned the sign have all but worn off. Uh, inside, the place shows the same lack of care. It's dirty, it's ill-kept, and it's in need of thorough cleaning or burning. Hmm. I feel like I may have chosen poorly. I mean, we can always leave. Uh, I mean, we're already here. We might as well. I don't know what we're doing. I'm just following. What's that? Thought... Who's loitering in there? Why? Who's loitering? If you're going to come in, come in and drink. I walk in to the bar. Behind the counter. <laughs> Greetings, barkeep. Uh, you look Wait. over. There's a dwarf. Mm. Yeah? Okay, good. You got coin? Now, please yes. Say. I believe we do. Well, good. We're new in town, and we're looking for information about the place. Well, that's good for you. What are you What are you drinking? What do you have? Ale. And I'm guessing we'll have ale. Well, good for you. I don't drink um, alcohol. 
Well, you can. I can spit in a bottle for you if you want to drink you that. Do you have any used dishwater? That's a um, goblin delicacy. How much it's worth to you? Like nothing, because it's used dishwater. <laughs> Usually we do this uh, as a service. Like you pay. How us much is a cup? Cover. How much is renting a cup worth to you? Oh, I have my own. <laughs> well, then we don't have a deal. Oh. How about how about? How about a silver piece for your dish water? No, you don't need to pay for me, Desmore. I can. No, I can you already get, said it. Deal. Silver piece. Silver piece. I toss the coin. Uh, and we'll say this covers your uh, mug of ale too. And she gives you a uh, mug of ale and gives the other one a mug of like you just hear behind her. You don't see where she's dipping it, but you hear a sploosh as she just comes up with a mug of that is now filled with water. And gives oh, it, it gives it to you. Mm, All right, a drink and finish, and then buy another drink. You know what? Uh, would you be willing to tell us a little bit about the town? Make a persuasion check. Hey. She looks at the silver that you gave her for dishwater. Um. Yeah, sure. Well, you're in Fandolin. There's a bright center of the universe. You're in the planet, the, the town that it's farthest from. Mm. Um. <laughs> so let's see what's been going on. Ah, uh, yeah, there's the big banner on the hill that blew up a couple days ago. Don't know what that's about. Nobody's really gotten a look, at least now that I've heard. Mm. Um. Let's see. There's uh, there's a big old election that's coming up. They got Harbin Wester and Sildar. Uh. What's his face? They're trying to vie for High tower, I think. president or whatever. I don't know. Head of the council. Oh, don't worry. There's a new, a new goblin's throwing his helmet into the ring. Make a uh, make a charisma check real quick, uh, Barry. Eighteen. Goblin. Count head counselor. I could see it. I could see it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And when you win, you tell them that you had help from me, Grista Kettlecop. I'll remember it. Old Grista, our first supporter. What do you mean, old? I'm 29. Well, you know, like, <laughs> I'm just old, kidding, I'm old like, as dirt. Like, old <laughs> as, like you're the first, not old as I'm just age. kidding, I'm, I'm old as dirt. <laughs> okay, I didn't know. I usually, like, I can't tell. That's why I told you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. Does anybody else want to do anything else? Um, let's see oh, if there's I any wanted other information. Ask, I wanted to ask, yeah. uh, where's the acquisitions branch in Fandolin? Acquisitions? Uh, what was that? Uh, God, I think they were called the... The Fellowship of the Golden Mongoose. That's what they were calling themselves. I, forget, oh. I, I heard them. I didn't really... I don't really leave this place that much, so I don't know. Hmm. They didn't come in here for ale, I know that, in cheap skates. I mean, you serve up a pretty mean dishwater, I gotta tell ya. I mean, that's, it's natural. It's pretty good. Hey, what's your name, kid? Goblin? Oh, Gobble. my name's Barry. Barry All right, we're gonna call this, it's gonna be the new drink. It's gonna call, be called the Golden Barry. Oh, it should be called the Sussman Special, because it's just a little sus. That's gonna be the, that's gonna be the one that you get with alcohol in it. Ale. Oh, I like it. Yeah, so we got the we got the berry. I've already forgot what to call it. We're gonna call it the berry special and the Sussman special. Yeah, there we go. That's yes. pretty good. Yeah, this has been a very fruitful encounter. And yeah, you want fruit? You go up to the orchard. We got apples, only apples. I think I saw a strawberry plant there one time, but they burned it down. Uh, why only apples? Wouldn't... Apparently, apples grow on trees. Well, yeah. And when obviously. they when when apples fall off of trees, they they get eaten by animals, and the animals poop out the seeds of those apples, and they make more apple trees. Because that would be very weird if a, an apple tree got pooped out and it grew, I don't know, watermelons or onions. Hmm. I don't know, magic. But when the onion tree, <laughs> but doesn't don't apples grow differently from seeds? You don't. You won't. You don't know what's going to happen to an apple seed when it grows. 
thinks to herself. Barry a believes you intensely, and it no, agrees. This is true. No, you got a point there. You got a point there. I've seen apple, red apples, green apples, and like pink apples. How did that happen? They're all apples, but they're different. The apple is a very, very, very strange fruit. Yeah. Almost as weird as bananas. Oh, let's not get started on bananas. We'll uh, be no, here all day. Oh, my God. We will be all here. Yes. <laughs> um, does anybody else have any other things that they want to do while they're here before we jump back over to... The... Yeah, yeah. I, I get up uh, to her and I say, hey, look, look, miss. I know one one barkeep to another. I know you've got the ale. You got ale, ale, and ale. But look, we know that there's there's some better stuff you got hidden somewhere. And that that is what I would like a mug of. And I slide uh, five silver pieces across the counter Ooh. to her. Big spender. Make a persuasion check with advantage. Right. Guidance. I put my hand on your shoulder. And good guidance, Gosh. yeah. Roll your d4 because you know 24 oh, is bigger man. better than 20. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Takes your coin, bites one of them. Make sure they're real. All right, I know what you got. Good stuff. She takes out a bottle of, of something, and you hear a, a loud sploosh. And then she comes up with a glass of clear liquid and she pours a little bit into the clear liquid. And then puts it on the counter and slides it over to you. Mmm. I smell it. I do the whole thing. The whole wine tasting thing. Smell, <laughs> aerate, swish, yeah. swallow. How is it? What is it? I don't even ask. <laughs> make a make a nature check. I'll give you proficiency if you have uh like herbalism kit or not even not herbalism, uh, like brewer's tools or something like that, which you're nah, probably just, which you probably know. Just thieves tools and bagpipes. Oh. And cards. Okay. <laughs> That's something you gotta work on next. Uh, eight. <laughs> this is either fine, fine, like aged brandy Ooh. or a bit of ale put into dishwater, but you can't tell the difference, and they're both amazing. <laughs> oh man, the Sussman special. <laughs> it's already been glazed. <laughs> The secret ingredient is cough syrup. <laughs> Delicious. I knock the rest of it back and I, I give her a big yeah. grin. Tell your friends. Grista, you you've been nothing but good to us. So <laughs> I, I, I would like to warn you that if you keep you now your bar is now gonna be over one with uh with uh kobolds from now on. I hope you okay. realize that. That sounds like a problem to have. You know good with kobolds? I don't know, but I will find out. Everything. Everything's good with kobolds. This young well, you... dragon child, this drunk dragon child knows what he's talking about. Ah. <laughs> I'm a Hayek, Miss Grista. The first thing I do when I get mayor is I'm going to make someone carve you a new sign so it looks like a giant taking a sleepy instead of like, I don't know. I don't know what's going oh. on up there. Oh, well, let me tell you exactly what's going on in there. As we fade to black, um, as you were being told, whatever that is, we will jump back to Joey. So are these two people still having an argument? They're sort of get, having their political debate in... Uh, to keep in mind that you are unfamiliar. You have not heard the information from that previous scene. So you, you don't know that they are Harbin Western, Sildar, Sildar Hallwinter. Um, and so, that they are so vying for things. I'll just like nudge like one of the citizens that are listening go um hey who are these people? What are they talking about? Oh, 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 so they're uh they're two councilmen? We had a third one, but uh he left. Um oh. so or did he or did What's he die? Story? I don't do remember. He... Uh I'm actually I forget if he died or if he just I have it written down somewhere. <laughs> um let me find it. I, I know I have it. There you go. Recent abdication of one counselor has made it so, well, we are a bigger town now, so we might need five counselors instead of three. But right now we have two, and they want to be head counselor. That one over there is Harmon Wester. He's the mayor. He owns everything, and he's going to make Fandolin great again. And that other one over there, Sildar, he's not the mayor. 
And I'm pretty sure that he hates all humans. At least that's what I keep being told. But, uh, he is a human. Yeah, that's... I, he's self-hating. Wow, that's a good angle. Yeah, I know. That's why I might, I'm might. i probably going to vote for him. He knows who to hate. There's a lot of humans in this town. You're talking to a dragonborn, by the way. I'll say that. A dragonborn. <laughs> <laughs> I am retconning that, so... <laughs> You, you like his, uh, destroy all humans angle, huh? I don't think he's going to destroy all humans, but most of them. Here and that's the best we can strive for. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go over here. <laughs> uh, you go over there as they're, they're sort of talking and, and giving their things. You will notice that Harbin is definitely the more seasoned politician. And so they are coming off more as the sort of, um... Uh, Jimmy Stewart in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, where he's still a politician, but he kind of gives a shit. Um, whether or not Harbin gives a shit, you don't know, but he's just better at speaking. Uh, looking to your side, you see what appears to be a small shrine made out of um, uh, sort of rock piles. So when you say, I'm going over here, I'm assuming that you're looking to the right, and then you just walk into the shrine. Would okay. you like to check that out? Yes. Okay, let me put this on there. This is the Shrine of Luck. Token layer. Uh, and let me actually move... Because you got a lot of places and people. I'm going to try and make sure that uh, all of the names and icons of people are correct. Go, uh, oh, maybe this is the uh, Acquisitions Incorporated building. You mean Acquisitions in Kupu? Hello, is this Ac <laughs> Acquisitions? Very small headquarters. As you walk up, um, the Shrine of Luck, here we are. So this appears to be, uh, looking at the religious symbolism, uh, possibly a temple to Timor. And it is a very small, quaint sort of shrine made out of rocks. It looks like maybe the, this was just a makeshift thing or, you know, it didn't have any space when, when it was originally made, probably years ago. You see two people here in Elf. And a human. The elf appears to be very, very uh, more religious, and the human seems to be making a uh, uh, offering or prayers. Uh, you, if you listen in, you hear the uh, female elf um, say, uh, "Ah, Mackin, uh, welcome back. I'm, I'm very glad that you were here to make another um, offering, perhaps." Mackin sort of says, he kind of flips a coin into the shrine, Mackin being this human over here. Let me put the name on the blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, Sister Grail. Uh, G Gariel, yes, sorry, it's, uh, <laughs> not, it's not been a good couple of weeks and months and years, and it's just been bad since I've been here. Can Timora give me any sort of luck, anything at all? I could really use some. Um, and Sister Grail kind of go, Gariel. Get the name right. Gariel. Very elvish with a lot of vowels. She sort of says, um, ah, yes, it's just if you put your trust into Timora, she will definitely bless you and, and get you exactly what you need. And, um,. I hope you're not thinking about going anywhere else. Um, uh, yes, uh, I, I will leave you to your to your worship. As she uh, heads over to you, uh, Zeke, and with Gorko in tow. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Mr. Turtle Man. Um, oh, uh, hello. What brings um, you to the Shrine of Luck? This must be... Uh, <clears throat> trying to get the voice. Um, uh, this must be uh, Acquisitions Incorporated, am, am I correct? Oh. Oh, oh no, no, Acquisition Incorporated. No, this is the shrine to okay, Timor. We're here. The best shrine in town. We're here to, uh... There's no other good shrine than this. This is the absolute best shrine, and you shouldn't go to any other shrines. You should just come to this one. That is For Timora. It is the best way to out. worship Timora and to bring to. She keeps interrupting you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not doing that to be a dick. Like, she's actually doing it. <laughs> Ooh, tomato. <laughs> um. Goes back and forth for a few minutes. I go, uh, wait yeah. a minute. Acquisitions Incorporated would never interrupt. Uh, I mean, that may be true, but Tyvora would for the. You need to pretty much give the, the absolute best shrine in town. 
the, the, no, the, I mean, it used to be the only shrine in town. Look before, around. No, it's any, the best. Is there any it's other the shrines? Best. Um, make a quick investigation check. I have it in the uh, the neighborhood for a new god to worship. <laughs> it's Satan once in a while, but it didn't work out. There's many oh, unique and fun Satans in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> take, take your pick. You don't see in the immediate area any sort of shrines, but you do see in the distance over some rooftops that very possibly another building in here is sort of oh. a place of worship. Uh, that one's possibly a lot bigger than yours. I go, uh, yeah, that was that was a lot bigger than yours. They don't be able to go over there. Oh, oh well, I mean, they. It's sometimes homeliness is the best. And not the uh, bigger sort of ones that have uh, indoor heating and plumbing. I like plumbing. things that are fancy. I, I mean, you take your home with you wherever you go, right? What are you implying? Your shell. You take it wherever you are. And it can't be any fancier than that, right? <laughs> I ponder. Mm. Wise words. Now, what if you could have this... this very big sort of heavy metal with spikes on it Ooh. and like just everything yeah and it wouldn't be holy anymore it wouldn't be your home that would be badass <laughs> oh yes yes it would be um well anyway uh worship time more i'm gonna come to the china vlog tomorrow too as well uh, she just heads back up <laughs> sort of uh <laughs> thinking that she made made did not make her case <laughs> I, uh, I say to Macklin, it's like a there's a much bigger building over there if you want to. Uh, yeah, 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 but like I tried that one, doesn't work. This one's the Shrine of Luck. What's what's the other Hopefully one? Give me luck. Uh, it's Temple of the Coin Maiden. Coin Maiden. Temple of the Coin Maiden. You ever heard of that one? Got three people in there just uh, making coins. Don't have the guy. It used to be used to be a. Uh, uh, the building used to be, I got it written down. Uh, notes. It used to be a uh, place called Barthens Provisions. Oh. Used to just give out uh, uh, sales, adventuring gear, and, and provisions. Well, business, but, uh, uh, times are tough. Yeah. And it was purchased by, I don't know, somebody. I hear the word purchase, but, and I go, would it happen to be uh, Acquisitions Incorporated? Uh, no, no. I think they were they were up at the the manor. Oh, you mean the smoldering ruin? Yeah, I mean, I was calling it that before it blew up, but... You know, I, I think they were trying to make it not a smoldering ruin. Mm, didn't last long, did it? No, no. Well, they with, tried, I guess. With this knowledge, I go... I gotta find the others. Tell them to... Let them know I think we found the remains of our, of our former teammates. Or our, uh business partners, whatever. Oh, that place has been like that for days. Yeah, they're probably dead. Oh, yeah, I, I doubt it. I mean, I don't know if anybody else has gone up there. Or, I don't even know what happened. I get around. I talk to people. Yeah. You know what's hey, up. Um, so, uh... You got the ear to the ground, as they say. Yeah, yeah, I... I yeah, um, do you guys, do you guys have any work? Um... Acquisitions Incorporated is not currently hiring. But, damn it. <laughs> kind of just frustrated with himself. Now, maybe another coin will do. Flips another coin. Actually, you take a quick look at it, and you think it's a button that he's tossing in there. Probably doesn't want to get his uh, few coins that he has. Well, if you need somebody, let me know. I will Macklin so, Talcroft. I, I, I will... Toss a, I will, I will toss a copper. Toss a cup. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you for your donation. This will go to adding another rock. <laughs> oh, that one. That was nice. <laughs> so you head back to town. Yeah, but I'm going to, after um, I'm going to head back with the others and say, I think we found our, our acquisition incorporated. The, the, the Golden Mongoose team. Layer, it was the specifically uh, doop, doop. 
Fellowship of the Golden Mongoose was sort of the name of the chapter. Trying real hard. Do the best. Trying real hard. Do um, the best. I'm kind of interested in that, uh, um, the, uh, coin, coin maker church, or whatever the name was. Okay. Um, that is up here, a little to the north, so. far away. Not, not too far away. Uh, I mean, it, 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 everything's it a lot further. Depends if you want to get us or not. <laughs> Barry does Barry knife or yeah? Does Barry knife or Desmond exits as the others are drinking? Uh, uh, Barry, after finishing his water, would go try to find Zeke um, and see what the commotion was at the middle. Okay. Barry will be heading I would, over. I would, I would go with Barry if he was leaving. Okay. Nesmorn. Nesmorn. Hmm? What would you like to do? Out. Like to... Yeah. I, uh, after, after finishing my, I'll follow, uh, okay. I'll follow out Good. and try to find Z, because right. leaving him by himself would be a bad idea. He can't have gotten far. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, why don't you find out? <laughs> Once in battle, Z can move. Uh, <laughs> I go... I have good news and bad news about uh about the uh, All right. franchise, the acquisition of the incorporated franchise. All right, give me the good on. news first, and then change the bad news to be good news, and give me that second. Okay. Uh, the good news is, I know where they are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Cool. Where are they? And the even better news is, is that they're probably ah. still there. And oh I, wow! And I, and, I, and, I, and I point to the smoldering ruins upon the hillside. No, perfect. Joey oh, and Bryce, great. please both take inspiration for that exchange. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, we let's see. We uh we learned it's up there, and we learned that uh, um there's a, a better temple, I guess. She seemed to not want us to go to that temple, but yeah. she said it was a better temple. Yeah, don't go to that rinky-dink one. I and mean, I think that one down there is the place to go. They have coins. Oh, I think I worship the goddess of coins. I think that's part of my character. <laughs> ah, you must mean Tamora. What a... Yeah. Why does that seem appropriate for this town? No, that's like, like the... Tamora is like the luck goddess, like this coin maiden. Ooh, if we want to get rich, maybe those are the ones we want to... Oh, uh, what's the other temple then? Timora. Wait, I worship Timora. Yeah. 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 Your temple sucks. What? <laughs> what's going? What? Yeah. Quit <laughs> being where it's at, bro. I thought. I thought that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Mayor Barry's got chose, some work to do. You chose wrong. <laughs> Uh, point, I would say me, that the Nesmorn realized Nesmorn realized the, trying to engage in co this conversation was a bad idea and just doesn't anymore. The coin maiden is Joaquin, goddess of trade. Okay. Mm. And the uh, Timora is the goddess of good fortune. Yeah, that's actually so. the one who Barry worships. So Barry would worship the one at the Shrine of Luck, which is important. Oh man, this is it. This is why... I, Oh, okay, we're we're going places. I, I know some Ak Inc. lore about Timora, but I don't think it's relevant to this adventure. That's okay, because I don't. <laughs> um, so what'd you like to do? Like, like you know, Gale and uh, and Mistra, Baldur's Gate. Yeah. 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 Think of that, but in with uh, with Omen. Oh, oh my God, he's eating all the uh, magic items. He's just, he, he loves he's eating all. Oh, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, like, yeah. Barry is hit with a divine revelation. Of course, this is why he was brought here to become mayor and restore the temple. Barry, Time. your roll a history check, Barry. All right, I'm trying to find it. It, it's with the H's. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Thinking back on your your um, adventures in the the Time Sphere multiverse, um, you do recall that 
this building that the Temple of the Coin Maiden is in, used, you did used to be a provision shop. And in some universe, for whatever reason, this is now a Temple to Joaquin. And that's all you get from a six. <laughs> this is the um, metagame a tiny bit, but is, is the miners exchange still here? Uh, we'll say that, I mean, you look around as you walk around, so you do see the uh, miners exchange a little further south from where you are. Just sort of looking around. Let me put that on the map. Okay. You Zika's, may be like, oh, Zika's I better get no new. For... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Zika has no reason to go there, but as a player, yeah. you what? would think that <laughs> it could be a place to purchase items. I love purchasing items. Um, but I, I, I think we should check out the... Yeah, I think we should go find, team up with the get, with the fellas. And also, we can park our cart, and then we can go inside our new house. Wait, um, we got a house? Yeah, well, it's at the top of the mansion. Oh, yeah. That's what Zeke's well. at. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it a house. I'd call it... I'd call it um, ruins that used to be a house. I, uh, I, I pick up Barry underneath the shoulders and lift him up to my level so he can see <laughs> what's actually on the hill. Oh, wow, a mansion! I mean, this is to a goblin. You're you're basically... Yeah. This is this is still a mansion. <laughs> like, it burnt nice out ruins. It's buried. like, oh, wow, they, they spent no expense. <laughs> I mean, one generously might call it a fixer-upper, but honestly... Gen gentle folk, gentle folk, gentle folk. Oh, oh hi. What brings you hi. to Fendlin? Oh, oh, I'm gonna be mayor. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's going to happen. I will probably be mayor. But it's good uh, to have seasoned uh, competition. Very friendly competition and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, to be more Can precise... Can I help you? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, to be more precise, we are here on behalf of Acquisitions Incorporated to find out what happened to our compatriots. But seeing the ruined husk of a mansion up on a hill kind of informs me that what happened to them was very unfortunate. Oh, yes. No, that, uh, that's what I was talking about. Adventurers came in, and then just the place blew up. Oh, uh, I, I apologize for the uh, theatrics that I put on, accusing you of being troublesome. Those, it's, it's all politics. Don't worry. It's just part of the getting people pumped for voting. It's important. It's important. You got to rock the vote. I understand. Yeah, no, definitely. Vote or die. Vote or die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think that's how Harry will remember this. <laughs> I don't think that's quite. Uh, and Barry just and then uh, Nismore just drops it because he he doesn't want to get involved in politics. Have you been here long? Have any of you ever been here before? Yes. A lot of places to look out. We've got we've grown a lot. Yeah, she got our. Uh... Yeah, that's great. Yeah. If you if you head over to the count council hall, one of my associates can give you a, uh, a brochure and tell you all the the fun places that you can do in Fandolin. Remember, Fandolin, you can't spell fun without f, which is how you start with Fandolin. You have a hard hard rock cafe. No, but we have a smithy. Eh. Is it like a lady smithy? Yes. She thickums. She, she's. She has muscles. That'll do. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Nesmore just looks over and goes, "You know what? I appreciate the hustle. This I'm not. I'm just yeah. Okay, uh, sure, go for it. I'm I'm not I hustling would... anything. I'm I am running. I am a councilman. I am running for head council. Oh, I was, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. To... I I'm, I wasn't talking to you. I was I was. Talking to Barry. Yeah, council, future councilman Barry. Well, that is something that could happen. Might not be the head councilman. Yeah, it could just I've seen be the recent polls. Up yeah, 100%. the recent polls are up. Up a hundred percent. Yeah, I got a drink named after me. Yeah, he's really? making waves. Maybe right. I, would be a generous term, but yes. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm already campaigning. Right. Now, Barry offered to give us the tour himself, didn't pawn us off to go look at a brochure. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go up to our new mansion. 
<laughs> I would stay away from that. That is a dangerous area. Also, it's my property. Uh, really? So you're the Acquisitions Incorporated? Oh, no, I just own the property that they rented, essentially. Uh, well, well then here, may we uh, go... Then may we please explore to see what... to see if we can glean what happened to them. Yeah, we're from the head can, office can in Waterdeep. He sits back and goes, hmm, I don't know. I have a rival politician. Wants favors from me? Oh, yeah. That's not mm. something I can do. That's not kosher. People will see us working together. They'll think we're that we're in it together. We have very different ideals, Sir Barry. For instance, okay. what is your take on adventurers just ruining the town? I think adventurers are usually good and can help people and, and generally involve, have a coexistent relationship. Well, why did the last adventurers that are part of your associates blow up my, you know, building? Well, that's what uh, we how do you know it was out. them? Yeah, we're they were there. I mean, there's they lots of there. kinds of magic and ghosts and ghouls. No other place blew up. It was just them. Yeah, that, see, and, and I would say that's pretty sus if it was just them. Normally, in the case of a... Uh, of a cultist attack, you know, like the red cloaks here. Remember the red cloaks? I do. What? You know, oh, they, they, yes, that was somewhat five years ago or so. Yeah, yeah generally, uh, they, 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 their uh, escapades are more like they spread out. But this case, it was just uh, isolated well, to what area? They haven't been suggest... a problem in. They haven't been a problem in half a decade. In fact, the last one that's around, what was his name? Bronze something, Clark Gable something. Uh, he's been wonderful citizen in the town helping out all around i think he's over working for either the provisions or the coster or maybe the uh, uh the orchard probably just picking apples or something delivering stuff good man good man mm. yeah, people me, can change we're gonna people go to the mansion change. okay like whatever oh 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 hey no i can't let you do that uh, man. but uh, as as members of acquisitions incorporated you know you're you allowed the other ones on the property. Why not us? Well, it's a dangerous area. I could be sued by Acquisitions Incorporated. I also have a... You could contaminate what could be a crime scene. Um, would it no, help if I'm we made a saying... campaign... Would it help I'm... if we made a campaign contribution? Yeah, certainly. You can yes. donate to the Barry Fund whenever you want, Nesmore. Well, it was going to, but not anymore. Look, <laughs> looking right at Nesmore. Look, I am nothing but help. I just think we should do this through uh, political means, the legal ways of doing it. Come on into the town council hall. We will get everything signed that will give you the permissions to step into the property and do what you need to do. All right. Uh, a bunch of red tape. I don't like I, red tape. I, 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 really take a while. Yeah, I don't think we have much of a choice. Yes, hold on. Well, mm -hmm. before... I, 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 I lean over the knife. I pass him a gold coin and say, why don't you slip that to Harb and, and kind of hint that maybe if it would help things along. Mm. No, just follow me. It's back here. So Barry's going to go uh, whisper to back. Zeke. Hey, Zeke. Mm. Who needs rules anyway? We can just go up there. What's yeah, going to happen? I'm saying. Exactly. I mean, we practically own the place. Yeah, I mean, we belong to it. Yeah. We're gonna go up there because, you know, it's a good idea to investigate our friends. We don't need to wait for, like, bureaucracy. I go up. I'm chaotic good. I can do this. Let's have a count of three, make a run for it. <laughs> well, no, we're just gonna walk. I mean, like, if you run, it makes you look like you're guilty. But we're on a crusade of justice and helpfulness, so really, we're not... We're not doing anything wrong at all. So we're Harvin, trying to find. Harvin yeah. says, "Right this way, please." We just, I, we start walking. Yeah, we just walk eighty and walk away. <laughs> like, yeah, so... Future, future head councilman, listen, listen. You don't have time for all of this bureaucratic red tape. You know, I know you're a busy man. You got, you got babies to kiss, um, hands to shake. Um, hey, nope, nope, you I'm, over, I'm over here. I'm over here. Look <laughs> at me. <laughs> and I, I know that that. that you don't want to deal with with all of this this proper channel stuff. You know, we're we're with acquisitions, they're with acquisitions. At least practically in our name too. 
Come on. Let, what, let, let me walk. just. Yeah, Barry's also just walking yeah. away. So I mean, as yeah. snipers do this, uh, uh, knife, give me a. Well, first off, knife, give me a persuasion check. Nesbord, what are you doing? Are you staying here? Or are you going with barriers? I'm stay. I'm staying here. I, I'm trying to angle myself so okay. that to block the view. If it will make anything better, and I, I, and only, I do. I, Go ahead. Uh, persuasion check. Persuasion check. Well, I do also want to be shaking his reach. You know, I want to give him that that gold in a in a fun way. Okay. Shake his hands and if do, that it helps. With, do it with do it with uh roll roll it with um uh advantage. But I will not tell you if I'm going to use the advantage or not. Oh, look at you. Okay. Oh. Might take a disadvantage. I might take a straight roll. He goes, takes the coin in his hand. He doesn't, does the, puts it in his pocket. I've got to cover if it. it will make anything better, I don't need all of the, you here. Two of you maybe could just come along and sign the paper shift, get it notarized, have it uh, just you know, witness yes. whatnot. Yes, that sounds like the best idea. Let, and then the other two can go enjoy the tavern or the inn or... or this, if you need to replenish your supplies at the Coster, the Smithy, or one of our various other wonderful places of shrines. Yes, yes. I, I, I like put my I feel like put my sh arm around his shoulder and like move him towards the town council hall. And we just all, all right. sort of walk over there. Alright, so as I'm you're going, going in, we'll we'll just do that real quick. Um just get into the town hall here. Oh, that's the boring part. Don't worry, it's not going to be here for that long. <laughs> yeah. Sildar, Sildar is in there as well. He's at, he, basically, these people share office space. There's another desk in nearby that is not filled. This would probably be the third councilman who abdicated. abdicated. Um, and just to set this area, uh, this one-story hall is the closest thing that the people of this town have to a government building. Uh, you get a sense it was used as sort of the council's meeting room and maybe just the town hall bef at some point before that. Um, it looks like they're sort of just uh, kind of just bureaucratic at the thing. You give, Parbin kind of brings you in and is like, yes, yes, come down here and then uh, we'll get all of this worked out quickly. Yes, yes, yes. As we head back to Fandolin. Orko is spinning in circles because he doesn't know where to go. Orko, come yeah. along with us. Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. We're going to go on an you, adventure. You pass by an inn, the Stonehill Inn, the Sleeping Giant Tavern. You know, Orko, heading... we haven't really had much time to bond. I was uh, unconscious. We had a hole. When we met you. But I just <laughs> want to know that, uh, you know, I think you're great. It's great. Are you coming on to me? I think you're great, handsome. I'm not hearing a no. <laughs> I'm in a uh, committed crab relationship. Oh, yeah. My, my well, ex was in one of those. Towards chaotic, maybe yeah. that's going to become an open <laughs> relationship. <laughs> but you know, you've been talking lately. <laughs> your, your, your alignment becomes um, polyamorous. <laughs> Um, uh, well, I think you're kind of great, too, I guess? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, everything's going great. We're going to go to our new mansion. It's going to be swell. And we're going to yeah. look for our, the evidence of stuff. Because we don't need to sign paper. Signing papers is stupid. Keep um, right. expectations low. <laughs> oh, wow. It's even more beautiful than I thought. <laughs> Uh, Trisendar Manor. It's banners and everything. <laughs> we turn night. Wow. I love when they die. <laughs> oh, wow. Some of the roof is still up. This is a ritzy <laughs> place. Um, as you're heading up the hill, you see what is just ruins in the distance. You see the remnants of acquisition and creep. Uh, Excuse me, Acquisitions Incorporated logos and uh, notable architectural sort of things. Like, you know when there's a Pizza Hut? Yeah, no, it's a Pizza Hut. Mm. Yeah, even when it's a bank. Even when it's a bank. 
However, this is definitely in ruins. Many of the crumbled walls of this manor show signs of having been recently rebuilt, uh, but even the newer stonework has been toppled and smashed, coating everything in the area with a thick layer of dust. Temporary structures seemingly set up to aid the reconstruction have been badly damaged by force and fire, uh, though a couple of wooden buildings still stand amid the destruction. I so think this place looks ways. beautiful. If you what wish, do you think, give Marco? me. Good. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Barry. I'm sorry if I interrupted. No, 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 no. It's it's how it works. Because Barry, yeah, yeah, don't interrupt me when I'm trying to tell Zeke how average he is. Zeke, you're average. Okay, what did what did you want? Oh, I was just saying. Look how beautiful this place is. Uh I don't know. I mean, I like the open floor plan, but I I, I don't think it's going to keep, like, wolves out. Well, I mean, it's rain. a little bit. I mean, I don't mind the rain, but, you know, that, that roof. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I've lived in a lot of hovels and stuff in my time, and, like, this is on the upper edge of them. As, I, as mean, I got. I mean, you, as a hovel, it's, um, top up echelon of hovels. I mean, look at it. I mean, There's, like, pretty banners. Yeah. Right, but I mean, like, the decor is nice, but the the structure isn't very sound, it doesn't look. Well, we can like, always... We, we were in that fissure, like, like the, the warehouse that that fissure was over. Nice warehouse, not a nice interior, because there was a hole in it. Oh, yeah, but there's holes yeah. in this, too. Hey, yeah. Sick. Yeah, but... Sick, can you use your magic to see... Was it the same kind of magic that made the hole that made this? Yeah, um, I want to do, uh... Give me an arcana check. Well, I was going to say detect magic as a ritual. If you wish to do a ritual to a detect magic, um, we will spend ten minutes doing that. So we're going to do this in real time, so uh, we will jump back to the red tape. Oh. <laughs> now, as you're doing this, it's like, we as you're doing the ritual over ten minutes, uh, we jump back to there. It's like, okay, now please sign here. How many places do I have to initial? Uh, oh, uh, well, if you got for five hours, <laughs> look, if if you got your initials right the first time, we wouldn't uh, have had to rewrite these papers. You know how hard it is to just make up a new contract. I only have like three fingers. It's hard to hold a I, pen. Well, you have more than three fingers, okay? You only have one name too. <laughs> <laughs> I only like using these three. They're my favorite. <laughs> Sweet, cut back. Gorka's like, huh, I wonder what's keeping everybody else. Uh, with that, your detect magic goes off. Uh, go and give me an arcana check with advantage. Okay. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you can definitely tell with your uh, your magic magical studies and detect magic that the fire damage isn't natural, and that magic was lightly involved. It is fire, ma it's magic fire, magic explosions, and not just arson. Okay. So when I reached fifth level and wanted to test out fireball. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that happens sometimes. That's that's even more interesting, because that means it was someone attacked attacked this place. The acquisitions incorporated people wouldn't attack their own their own building. Can you maybe tell what, where the source of the explosion was with that? Probably from this distance, no. However, both your... Um... Well, I mean, we're, I imagine we're near the... Oh, we're wandering around. No, no, place. no. You're, you're, you're getting closer, trust me. Because as you were getting closer to this, um, your passive perceptions, not Gorko's because he has a nine, uh, your passive perceptions, you hear animals. Possibly wolves, maybe jackals. Some sort of definitely carnivorous, four-legged animals wandering the the grounds. Uh -oh. I think Zeke, maybe we should go get the others' help. I don't like being alone with wolves. And the others come rushing up behind us because they finished nope. the signings, right? Nope. Yeah, Zeke, um, let's leave. I, I I'm scared. Yeah, we're. Uh... No I didn't think Gorko, there'd be wolves but, um... there. Not quite up to snuff by jackals. Yeah. Jackals? Jackal? Jackal? Is a jackal? Is a jackal? No. Is a jackal? Yes. 
Let's just kind of wait on the perimeter and just wait for them to come. Three hours later. Like, that's not a K, that's a Q. Ah, jeez. <laughs> I was just imagining um, that when they say knife sign this, he just stabs it. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> I bought so many daggers. I got like six daggers. Like, so every with the knife. <laughs> every signature is a knife stuck in it. It's my pen knife. <laughs> Actually, it's mostly just knife. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, with that, you do pick up a brochure. Nesmorn, you get a brochure while you're just work, looking around. So you get the other major places in the thing. So you have the Temple of the Koi Maiden. Uh, so if you go to the center thing, you have the Temple of Koi Maiden is the M up here. You find that there is a smithy uh, not too far from that. Uh, down just below the Shrine of Good Luck in the town square is a uh, Lion Shield Coster, which is sort of the... Um, uh, the sort of general store in the area. The, they used to be just uh, like armor and weapons, but now they just pretty much do everything, as Barthens Provisions no longer exists. Uh, Stonehill Inn is a proper inn. It does have, it's like a bed and breakfast. Sleeping Giant is their tavern. Uh, the Miner's Exchange is also another sort of general store, but also where local miners do come in and sell the ore that they get and do other sort of things with there. Um, and the only other thing of loca location of note is the orchard, the apple orchard up north, Edermath Orchard. Mm. With that, after after a while of finally trying to just get Knife to sign it, um, Harbin turns to Nesmore and is like, uh, can you just sign this? Uh, can I, uh, I'm going to look it over real quick. Just you look it over, it's, on, it's, all, it's all the level. It's all the level. You've been, you've been looking over the whole time, just like trying to watch Knife, trying to figure out how to spell Knife. I just, I I offer my, I just sign it real quick. Yeah, Nesmorn, you just sign it, and Knife's like, yes, wait, my name doesn't have an I in it. Yeah, I need another one. I, I, Knife, would you agree to let me sign for you? Ah, uh, I, I suppose I can give you power of Knife Journey. Would you accept that? Arvin. Oh, yes. That's why I turned to you and asked. Uh, I, I, I signed Knife's name below. I don't know why I had there. any knife in the first place. Wait, why are you signing Knife's name? Just sign your name. <laughs> I signed I already oh, signed yeah, my another name. One. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've been here three hours. You know how long it takes uh, to write a new one each time? See, uh, this is why, don't this have is a why Nesmorn's press. part of the crew. You don't think he is at first, but then he does stuff like that. So I was gonna I was gonna fast track that, but I'm gonna say that another hour has to go by. Zeke, Barry, and Gorko, what do you want to do around town? All right, Zeke, Zeke uh, okay. No, uh, we're playing um, we're playing uh, a game of dragon chess. <laughs> Nesmorn, uh, I will give okay. you a complimentary um <laughs> uh, um, inspiration <laughs> for that development. So it's just like when you punch the guard in uh, in, uh, in 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 the yeah. jail in the other game. Uh, but yes, Gorko, Barry, and Zeke. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, uh, oh, you you go, you go, you go, Joey. While we're waiting, I, I want to go to the temple of the coin maiden. Yeah, okay. Barry's interested in that one too. He needs right. to see the competition. Right. But don't Head be distracted the by the man. curvaceous smithy on the opposite end of the road. Yes. Mm. You take a look in, and there is there is a, 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 a someone, a, a female. I think she's human. Work in the forge. She's very well built, uh, very strong. It's just like basically hammering. You know, she's got Carlac vibes. Um, but the Temple of the Coin Maiden. Uh, so this was... No, Barry would know this as, as I mentioned earlier. Barthens Provisions went out of business. Uh, it was purchased at some point for the Church of Joaquin. And was this has quickly been renovated. You can sort of tell, as I said earlier, like how you always know that a a Pizza Hut's a Pizza Hut. Um, this sort of just looks like a renovated shop. And as you head in... Oh, anime. We have anime waifus. <laughs> wow. Jackpot. 
you are greeted by uh, two uh, non acolytes. They said, "Ah, welcome, welcome." They're sort of talking like, not in unison, but like just finishing each other's words. Um, welcome to the uh, temple of the coin maiden. How can we be of service of you, for you? <laughs> I hope that was unintentional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I heard there was coins to be made here. Yes, this is the temple of Joaquin, the goddess of fortune. If you come to worship, we can definitely make sure that your fortune is good. Um, I worship Timora. Oh, well, you might want to go to the Shrine of Luck. I worship Bahamut. You're not there. <laughs> What was that? Uh, Who said that? <laughs> oh man, that echoes, echoes, <laughs> echoes. Uh, do any of you have to wish to pray or make an offering? No, I don't like anime. <laughs> it's for nerds. That, I don't think that's our deity. Do you think that? No, no, I'm. I no, I said uh, anime. anima, anima. You know the forces oh. of 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 the of the outer planes. Oh yes, we hate them too. They worse. They make everything worse. Well, uh, I am a new member of Acquisitions Incorporated, and it is my goal to make coin. So I wish to pray to Joaquin that our our acquisitions will be many. Acquisitions Incorporated. Like, Did I hear Acquisitions Incorporated? Did you hear someone come up in the background? Oh. You hear a uh, coming out of like a back room. Um, is a gnome comes on out. Have you come to uh, help us out in our worship as being Acquisitions Incorporated? You all make probably a lot of money. Oh yeah, we're we're rolling in the dough. Oh, let me introduce myself. I am Ditch Findy. That's Ditch Findy. And turns to the uh, the two anime wife who's like, Heston, Mishka, uh, go clean something. I'll, I'll deal with this. Yes, they kind of like to do a curtsy. <laughs> they kind of just go off into the uh, the background. Uh, Your eyes are so big. Anyway. Waved. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, brings you to Fandolin for, for business or <laughs> well if you're here it must be for business oh, definitely for business yeah. mm -hmm. oh oh we're are you waiting, here to we're invest... just waiting on, on our associates to uh, finish signing a single sheet of paper so yeah take them a while <laughs> so we can go oh. um, visit the, the exploded ruins uh, you know how red tape can be why we're having a, a uh, election the Townsfolk don't think that uh, the council's up to stuff. It's just two people. Yep. I mean, they're supposed to be three, but they could be five. But what happened? To, what happened to this third person I keep hearing about? Well, turns out he abdicated. I see. That's what? really Zeke, all I know. Sick, sick. Well, uh, I have the perfect replacement in my friend Barry Sussman. Vote That's me. I'm running for town council. By the way, you in the in the distance, you see Gorko just being sort of like like hanging around Heston and Mishka. Good for being Gorko. Like, huh. So, um, are you uh? Yes. He just just kind of keeps stammering on. Um. Yeah, I'm running for I'm running for town council. Town council. Yeah. Do you even live here? Do you have? Do you own property in the town? I. Uh, that's what the paperwork's going to be for. Ah, uh, you're a clever one. You could do this. Mm. Yeah. As soon as soon as as soon as Nesmord and Knife, my my campaign manager, uh, finish <laughs> doing the paperwork, then I will have legal residence in the town, and then I can run for mayor, and then run for city council. Officially, but I'm yeah, doing some pre gaming. I don't think we're quite. I don't think we're quite a city yet, but if you can turn us into a city, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the plan. More I coin want it to be a haven for all peoples that come and be nice together and have a good time, and and then be friends. Oh well, 
how did you become a politician? It just kind of happened. Oh, that, that, that's sort of what happened with me and um, uh, like Mishka and Heston there. Sort of fell into Joaquin's service. As one does. Yes. Yeah. That were were you were 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 you one day were you were you late to to gnome school with with a piece of toast between your mouth and then you tripped over and then you fell into Heston and Mishka and you you kind of like maybe maybe fell into one of their lady parts and it was really awkward but then you blushed and then you found the true calling. No. Yeah, me neither. I would hate for that to happen. <laughs> well, I will offer a... Well, I'll go, um... Well, you seem to have the bigger temple, so... We'll offer a prayer to Joaquin. Oh, well. <laughs> May your fortune be plentiful. Did that require, like, a donation, like at the Timora Shrine? I mean, I, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Have an entire gold piece. Corco comes running back. Give them all your money. <laughs> Corco, <Corcoran>, no. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I just yeah. I think I have to leave. I have to step outside. Okay, that's fine, Corco. <laughs> I will give them a gold though. I put it in donation. Fuck it. Okay. Hold an alms box, Joey. You've played a cleric. You would know that. Box? Cleric Stark with an alms box. <laughs> or acolyte backgrounds, too. <laughs> um, um, I noticed there was a statue of Jesus back there. What's up with that? Oh, that was, uh, that's the that's the person who owned this before before yeah. us. Jesus. Just, yeah, hey, Zeus. Zeus yeah, hey, Zeus. No, no. He, uh, owned, he, owned the, he owned the old, like, uh, emporium. Yeah. He was crucified. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was bad yeah, when the bugbear showed up. Yeah. A red cloaks thing. They crucified everyone, yeah. I heard the, yeah. the histories. Hey, uh, Barry, is this... Can you look into the, your vision and see if this is before or after the white dragon attack? Um, hold on. Make a Sideways. history check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can actually... Yeah, too bad no, you don't have, like, the portent dice. I forget which class that is. That is the portent dice. Wizard? Uh, yeah. The Barry rolls an eight for history. Um. Well, you can remember that there was less women here. It was less anime, more like 1980s G.I. Joe American animation people. Oh, man. Everybody looked the same. It was weird. Uh, Bar Barry is sad because he, he misses like the late 90s OVA kind of anime instead of this kind of like <laughs> kind of anime. You know, like he's a simple man. Man <laughs> goblin. A lot more CG, does it have the same kind of charm? Yeah, you know, I mean, it's like, yeah, I understand your, your, your gotcha outfits, but there's something about, you know, the old Asia Clan Clan gets me going. What can I say? I mean, Asia Clan Clan was a woman. Oh, she's great. Yeah. Twilight Suzuka. Yo, let's, 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 she, let's, she, let's talk about <laughs> Outlaw Star. <laughs> Outlaw Star. <laughs> it's the best, it's the best anime that's basically Trigon Cross with Cowboy Bebop. That's really good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I love it. fully agree. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm yeah, down let's, with let's, that. Let's, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm distracted. I'm distracted. I'm distracted by by anime's whims. Yeah. Very, 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 very. Being sucked into the, 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 the anime. I gotta, go, I gotta go outside. I'm feeling it. I feel what Gorko's feeling. <laughs> and you walk out. Let's, go, uh, let's get out of here, Crab Coon. I uh, go out and see if everyone's done signing a paper yet. Yeah, let me let me make sure everybody is visible Crap, where they are at location. So I was originally just looking for like sexy nuns for them, and I was like, wait a second, I know this picture. There, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Mishka just screams sexy nun. <laughs> Russian sexy nun. Mishka oh. and Heston. Oh man, the Temple of the Coin Maiden has dark powers in there. We gotta be real careful. <laughs> yeah, we've lost Barry. We're thinking about making yeah, we we're lost thinking in a hot spring. Would that be what it good? I think we can only have one hot spring though, so it'll have to be co ed. Oh, we'll have our onsen episode. 
back to you near the town hall. Um, Knife, uh, Desmorn finally, uh, gives a stamp of approval on everything. And says, okay. Oh, God. I tried to warn Harbin. I don't feel bad. <sighs> well. Just go. <laughs> yeah, let's just yeah, go. I, I, Good I'll luck just, in the election. You know, yeah. I toss, I toss him, a, I toss him another gold piece out of just. No, no, that's, takes, that's takes more. You, you just feel it as you're walking by. No, Nesmorn's giving up more money. To my political I saw it opponents. In my <laughs> <laughs> right, you, head on out. you are now able to head to uh, legally to Shresendor Manor's ruins, if you wish. Okay, we're going off to the first time for the ruins. Call right, it. we're going to go to the ruins. Yeah, for the first time. Uh, for the first right there. Uh, yeah, uh, I thought we were yeah. going to the second time. Yeah, this is yeah. the second time because there's wolves up there. Right. It's the right, it's yeah. The, it is the first time for it is the first time for me and knife. Oh, yeah. that's, that's true. true. This is the first yeah. time in this configuration. Yeah, yeah. This could be like your fourteenth time. I don't know how many times you've been to to Tresendar Matter in your your past. Good. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Here we go! Yay! <laughs> Passed by the inn and the sleeping giants. You are the wolves. <laughs> Back as you get closer and closer to Tresendar Manor. Those look like deer. You do spot, you do hear them in the thing. You don't spot them. You're not exactly sure where they are. There are several ruins around. Gorko is kind of like, oh, maybe I should just stay back. This game's kind of like it's it's haunted. Yeah, I know, it becomes Which... nighttime whenever we arrive. Right, yeah, I know, it's, it's, it's a weird solar eclipse. Of the heart. Gorko, I think you need to stick with us, because there's there seems to be treachery afoot in this town. You oh. saw the anime. And uh, you I don't saw... know. I... Well, I mean, when I was in the, 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 the fissure, there was that one room with all the foots. There was a lot of foots there. Yeah. What if what if that's here too? Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Check okay, Gorko. One, two. Okay, I still got him. Wait, it's two, we right? One, together. two. Okay. We're sticking together with us because we need to have all. We can trust. Uh, we can trust everyone here. This town's Gorko, full of secrets. Gorko will stick with you. Can I have a marching order, please? Gorko's in the back. Uh, Nesmorn's up front. Nesmorn's up front. Barry towing behind, maybe in tandem. Barry, Barry's hanging out with his goblin pal Gorko. Gorko, okay. in the back. Knife is Zeke. trying to be uh, stick to the shadows and trying to be stealthy and unseen. All right, give me a stealth check. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, probably, probably stealthy. Um, however, as you enter, head up to this area. Numerous brown and gray jackals prowl the ruins, some uh -oh. gnaw bones while others sniff and dig in a pile of stones at the center of the manor courtyard. Or in this case, towards a, a side of it. Um, in response mm. to your approach, the nearest jackals turn towards you and snarl. Hmm. Any you know what that means? <gasps> Any clackety roll Rat battle! You want a rap battle? You want a rap battle? I mean, I unless you had like a, something else. This feels like a rap battle. Yeah, it's probably a rap battle thing. Let's do it. Oh, jackals. 18. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start off by grouping these together. Uh, so, oop, give me a second to actually add all of these, because it's going to be a while. You know what, you guys can, we'll, we'll, we'll pause rap battle for a moment. You guys can take a quick break while I set up the, uh... Okay. Yeah, tinkly, tackly, going to the bathroom. Here comes the snack. <laughs> Thank God you're not a bard! Oh, man, that'd be, oh, yeah, no. Oh, it'd be bad. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I, I would actually start singing, it'd be bad. <laughs> that means it's time for rat battle. 
we do Starfinder, can we still use Rap, rap Battle? Yeah, you might have to do Space Rats. Space Rat Battle. Yeah. What are the What are the Rat Folk of Warhammer called? Ugh, I can't remember. There are like Staven. One, one of the core races though in Starfinder are Rat people. Staven. Gorko is up first somehow. <laughs> uh, for the purposes of this map, I'm going to say like this door here is not actually there. It's off its hinges, whatever. So this is this is not blocked. Any other rubble or walls could be difficult terrain. I think we'll be good with that. Uh, fix this. There we go. There. Okay, Gorko is up first. He's like, um, ah, what do we do? Uh, he's going to step back here. And he's going to aim at uh, the purple one. Gorko, we destroy. I think they're mean, and they're going to eat us. Uh, so he will shortbow. I remember how to do this. 19 will hit for 3 damage, and as the jackal starts moving, goes and just dies. Good job, Gorko. Oh, they're like baby uh, jackals. With what did they do? Uh. Goes back there, and he bonus action hides. With a, uh, what is this? Stealth. 19 stealth! I, I don't even... I think that uh, Knife might not even see him. Wow. N knife, you are up, and I'm going to say with your 21, you're hidden. Awesome. So, the... um, Can I see into the building, or are the walls on the map actual walls? The walls on the map, I'm going to say, are actual walls. Uh, you give me a perception check. Okay. So I'll say that we're going to go with, like, Warhammer Ruins rules here, where it's not actually a wall. Got it. 17, I'll say that you can spot uh, the various nearby, like the five that are nearby you. Okay. All right, cool. That would be the this group of three up here and then the two black the and two below it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I would like to try to uh, pop out of my hiding place and shoot at Redwin with a short bow. Okay. Let's see if he perceives you. I might have said that that's not, not. Like, that's not like a, a solid wall. I just said that he's able to see it. So because he rolled a high enough perception check. So it's got a lot of holes and and whatnot in it. Okay. So you're moving through it would be either difficult terrain or even impossible. Or um uh but seeing through it can be done with a perception perception check. That's what I meant by Warhammer 40k rules, because ruins don't exist <laughs> in the actual tabletop. Um, I see go ahead. Coming a 20, out of... 24 hits. Oh, four. Which one? Which? Say that again. Who are you aiming at? Red. Red dot. Okay. Red. That and... will kill him. Oh. And then I'm going to pop back in with my bonus action into these trees and try to get back into hiding. Okay. Nesmorn. Uh, I'm going to try to... Can I... Can I get to this guy right here? Uh, I can't see where your mouse is, so... All right. Uh, <laughs> That's you. Yeah. Can I get to this guy? Uh, 5, 10, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to say that interior here is going to be difficult terrain, so no, you'd, be able, you'd only be able to get here. Can I roll athletics to see if I can get over the difficult terrain, or...? Jump. Nope, Jump that would be an action. That would be your action. Jump. Your turn to do that. Jump. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is basically just interpreting the battlefield. Alright, uh, then I'm just gonna go there. And let's see, what can I do? Do you have a halberd? Uh, I yeah, actually, yeah, I have a halberd. I sold my, I sold my, uh, that has, oh, yeah. that has reach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I can hit him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. My brain is potatoes today. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just going to attack this one in front of me. Okay. Um, do I do want to? No, I'm not this. And I don't think I want that quite yet. Yeah, no. I'm not going to do that. I'll they just like, do a regular attack. They have like two hit points or whatever. 
No. No need to. Be fancy. Yeah, you don't need to start smiting them yet. 21 hit. Don't know I did that twice. That's fine. 10 damage. This one takes a very strong hit. It is still standing. Uh, I can't. No, I can't call that afterwards, so I think that's all I can do. Okay. Well, how the one Jackal. that um the goblin hit died of three piercing? Oh well, let's see. Make a uh, perception check. Is there like a pack leader? Or an or nature? I'd say nature perception or animal handling. All the Give icons look the same, but they're different. Twenty. Uh, the one that Nesmorn hit uncharacteristically, is wearing a satchel. Uh, <gasps> jackals are now up. Uh, this one is going to... Satchel Jackal. Satchel Jackal. This one is jackal. going to pop out of some of the, the terrain, and then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and it's going to... Um, It's going to, yeah, it's going to dodge because it can't get close enough. This pink one is 5'10", 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and he is going to get closer and with a dash, we'll go about here. Zeke, you're up. All right, I'm going to do a magic missile to each one of these. One for each jackal here. I need you to tell me which colors that you were is the each. Uh, pink. Oh, a oh, bind born. Pink, black, and cyan. Pink, black, cyan. and cyan. Okay, go ahead. We'll do it in that order as well. Yep. For start. Five. That'll kill pink. Two. Two. Black's still standing. That'll kill Cyan. You're welcome. It is appreciated. <laughs> That's it. Okay. The next ones are up. They're in the back here, and they've got to uh, go through difficult terrain, so they're going to uh, boop, 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 and then just dash. One, two, three. Black is now up. Um, uh, Nesmorn, yeah. this jackal with the satchel looks at you. Ah. Mm -hmm. Gives you a Kubrick stare. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Dirty 20. You feel oh, like no. it was trying to hypnotize you in some sense. But, uh, you, you, uh... Oh, no, I see why. Okay, hold on. Yeah, you, uh, you, uh, warded it off somehow. Sneezed and you came back alive. So with that, he's gonna go ahead and go away. You can take an attack of opportunity. Alright. But he'll go this way instead. Oh, I figured out why I was doubled up. Okay. Uh, fix it. Go ahead thing. and give me an attack of opportunity. Don't leave us hanging. I had two windows. I had it open twice. Nine will miss, as you're just a little too sleepy. Barry, you're up. Barry Sussman, brave hero that he is, is going to go over here and hit this dog. Okay. <laughs> he's going to go... Do with disadvantage, please, because he's dodging. Does that dog flip where he, like... He doesn't. He doesn't. 12. 12 just hits. Yeah, you basically just punt him out of the way, and he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Here's our, here's our adventuring heroes. They're killing puppies. Yep. Listen, this is, this is typical goblin behavior. You gotta <laughs> clean out your new hovel. <laughs> Anything else, Barry? It's a fixer-up. Uh, Barry, Barry, I mean... 
out of out for the justification uh is is having a vision of the future but from uh metagame stance <laughs> says uh uh, gang, maybe we should try to knock out that particularly sturdy wolf. It could be like a polymorphed character or something, not a normal jackal. What if it's one of the people who caused the explosion? So try to knock that one out. Kill the one. If they die in one hit, kill them. If they don't, knock them out. Mm-hmm. Very well. Okay. Right. So that. This last so if they die, knock them out. <laughs> Basically, it's it's we're on witch trial rules. Where if you hit them and they die, <laughs> yeah. then, then it's they're a jackal and it was whatever. Barry, you hit them and they don't wise. die, wise, then Barry. we knock them out. <laughs> I was gonna dash up to there. This one's gonna run and then dash some more. Get to about there. Uh. With that, Gorko's up. Damn distance people getting away from my pack tactics. Gorko's going to step up and he's going to go ahead and uh, the second verse, same as the first. And he's going to go and try and hit the uh, white one next to Nesmorn, uh, killing it just as it's trying to just step over the terrain. He's going to go back and hide again with a natural 20. Oof. He's he's just gone. Knife, you're up. Right, knife is going to. Which one was the one with the satchel? Black. Black. Right. You can't you can't do non-lethal from a distance. This is true. Don't be melee. Well, let's take out the chaff. All right. Uh, knife is going to pop out of his tree to stand here in the corner. And take a shot at orange. Okay. Because I'm coming out of hiding, I'm rolling these at advantage. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah. Let me see if this one sees you. What was your What was your stealth roll for your second 20, hide? Twenty three for that one. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're, this one rolled high, but he still doesn't see you. Okay. Pretty good at that. Um. I didn't that roll. Roll damage. Oh, it did roll. Oh. Okay. Yes. No, sorry, I was going to say, I know we talked about the last time. All the, like, rules is written, all the jackals roll. Right, but I'm not. The way I'm running it, Joey, is that if orange doesn't see, but yellow does, I'm not going to count that against somebody popping out of a uh, thing, especially because there's a whole bunch of things that I would have to consider. Well, if they pop um, out and attack immediately, then you don't have to roll still. When they attack, out. everybody knows. Yeah. Like, Knife is now no longer hidden because he's attacked. Yeah. So, uh, like, I know you're I know you're a stickler for this, Joey, but this is just... Well, it's backwards. This, it's weird. It, I'm not going to roll like 11... Um, Eleven does the jet does the eleven jackal see knife as he pops out just before he well, well, he no, that's pops why you do it when he hides to see if he hides. It's still place. rolling eleven jackals, Joey. Joey that's what I'm trying Joey, to avoid. Joey, I'm, <laughs> Joey, I, I, I need you to kind of roll pull your DM back in. You're not you're Joey. Go to your go to your room and think about what you rolled. <laughs> no, it's it's cool. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I could explain and... the reason why it's done that way, but we're playing a game here, so we'll go on. Yes. <laughs> um, All right, so 14 to orange. Yeah, orange is now splattered across, across the pavement. Awesome. And I would like to, in this corner, I know that we talked about the wall. It's all ruins style, but I'm hoping that I can find a thin cobalt size pocket here to try to hide. Roll stealth with disadvantage, I'm going to say, as you are Ooh, right up against the rubble. That's fair. I should have saved some to get into the uh, tree. 13 that time. 13, all right. So I don't Nesmore. really know what, what happens there, right? I just... Right. Perfect. Um, I'm going to walk up to this... Uh, I'm going to go up to this one. Uh, okay. Can I examine it real quick before we kind of like see if it's... Um. What are you trying to examine? Depending on the amount of what you want to find out, it would either be an action or passive. I'm seeing if it has a pouch or not, or if it looks like it might be. Yeah, I'll let you do a passive perception check. Well, not passive, but make a perception check, but it won't be your action. 
Right. Ten. You don't see a pouch, but this one's got a lot of fur. Maybe it's got like a fanny pack. Yeah, I'll try to knock it out anyways, just to be safe. Okay. I'm gonna just hit it with my halberd. All right. Fifteen will hit, and it is knocked unconscious. All right. Uh, how? Wait. I was here, right? Correct. You have moved ten feet. I have moved ten feet. Okay. Uh, so you, you move I, five feet, which is worth ten feet of speed. So twenty, thirty. Correct. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. Zeke, you're up. How does the the black one look? The one with the satchel. Is it bloody yet? Uh, he's bloody, yeah. Okay. We'll do another magic missile. I'm gonna hit um, green, black, and yellow. Okay, we'll go in that order. Two. Green is still alive. Five. Four. Black is still alive. Yellow is dead. Anything else, Seek? That's it. I tiptoe yeah. around the uh, rough terrain. Finally, finally some pack tactics. Uh, just because it hasn't had any attacks yet, I'm going to have this one is going to ready an action for it getting pack tactics. <laughs> Next one is uh, <laughs> the black one is going to come up and. Um, The black one's going to bite first. Uh, with a natural one missing. The okay. other one is going to bite. Well, I'm sorry, it's pack tactic, so it has advantage. It rolls again. 15. is a 15 hit Nesmorn. No. It misses. So the other one is going to roll with advantage. 17. Does that hit Nesmorn? No. They're crying. We all have we made them cry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I figured. I mean... If, if I didn't call um, uh, rough to, to difficult terrain, you guys would have been in a lot of trouble. Because um, 11 things with pack tactics is tough. Barry, you're up. Barry, thinking quickly, runs right in here. And he's going to cast Thaumaturgy on himself to make his voice boom really, really loud. And he's going to yell, get out of here! You get out of here, you dogs! You get! <laughs> Make an intimidation check? Very rolled a 23. Yeah, they're, um... They quickly, like, look at you and turn their head to the side, as dogs do. But uh, they, uh, they also look scared. Anything else? No, that was it. Because uh, I couldn't do anything real, so I'm moving. Gorko's up. <laughs> he is also scared. <laughs> Knife, you're up. But we're friends. <laughs> Knife is going to... Let's see. In terms of movement, I know we can just go straight through the wall. Um, find a pocket, or, or do I go around? If I need to? Mostly go around unless there's like damage. No problem. No um, problem. You can spot through the wall, like because there's gonna yeah, be holes. They're not, all human, they're not all cobalt size. Understood. Most most things are cobalt. Size. Uh, before you move, actually, make a perception check. Okay. Uh, I will do that for, for a five. Yeah, you know. Cool. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to move here. Okay. And I am going to step into the building for, for the rest of them here. And I am going to take a shot at green. Knock another arrow out. And I... it should be an advantage since I'm like ne right next to them. Well, no. and I was hiding. I was no. hiding. Didn't matter anyways. Ooh, ouch. Miss. Ah, I'm just, you just, you just can't fair. you can't thread the needle to get that arrow through a bunch of debris. I was worried about Nesmorn and there's a big rock here and 
I got scared, scared about, about the Lord. I got scared about the perception <laughs> check. What's that all about? <laughs> Anything yep. else? Um, I am going to use my bonus to dash over here. Okay. Nesborn. I'm going to I'm get about here because it's difficult terrain. Uh, I'm going to hit. Fail. Yeah, I okay. am going to attack. I'm going to try to knock out the black one in front of me. Okay, make an attack. He is he is unconscious. All right, there it is. Uh, is that the one with the pouch that we saw? Yeah, black one. Yes, the pouch. All right. Um, I turn to the. Can I turn to the green one and kind of go elephant at it? You say elephant at it? Say what? like shout at it. Be like intimidating oh. to it. Uh, it's already pretty intimidated, so you can just do that. It's it's probably gonna run away. I like turn it and go. Rawr! Arf! Zeke, you're up. <laughs> run away. Not if I have anything to do with it. I'll cast uh, Firebolt. Okay. To the green one. Oh. Natural one. Never mind. Miss. Uh, you almost hit Nesmord. <laughs> hey, watch it. Sorry, you said Arf. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a that's a legitimate mistake. Jackal does disengage and uh, <laughs> runs away. If nobody pursues him, he will just run off. Does anybody wish to pursue him? I don't care. He's yeah. a dog. Yeah, okay. just let him go. Ah, he's running away! Gorko shoots at him as he as it runs out. And misses. <laughs> Gorko, let him below. He's just a dog. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> we are... Out of initiative. Hooray! Uh, Alright, let's tie up this dog and interrogate him. Are we... Sh I had a nickel every time I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Take away his pouch. Take away his pouch. Nesmorn, you I should not do it. I am going to look at totally the wrong dog. Tell us your secrets, dog. Tell us. <laughs> yeah. Nesmorn, take his pouch. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna get, I'm going to investigate and remove the pouch. Okay. We'll get to that. Zeke, Zeke. You let's do a good cop, bad cop thing. Okay. Let's both be bad cops. And yeah. he just starts kicking the jackal. No, Tell us what you no, know. No, I hold Tell back. us what. No. No, what? No. Yeah, no. Nice doggy. Not the doggy. No, we're no, we're bad cops. <laughs> and we go back to the. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, you don't kick an unconscious animal. That's me. In the satchel, there is uh fifty gold pieces and a potion. Investigating the potion is a potion of climbing. Of jackal. Hmm. I have to get over here and tie up this dog. Man. I put the I put the gold and let the I, I hold on to it and we'll split it up later. Go ahead and add it to the uh yeah, the yeah. yeah and notes if you're taking the potion of climbing. The lion shield coster. So he is unconscious or is he tied up or both? I'm, I do conscious of you. You could. We'll say that you're good enough at that, so you don't have to roll anything for it. Okay. The dog didn't tell us nothing, but he's very floofy. Oh. I don't think he's breathing anymore. No, wait, he's breathing. Never mind. Yeah. No, we're gonna let. The, we're gonna. We're gonna. All right. So we got this dog. We got tied up. Now we're gonna intimidate him. All right. Who can talk to animals? I, I mean, can. Hey, dog. I'm doing. No, it right no, now. no, no, no. Oh, okay, I, he, I believe you. you. You can talk at animals. Uh, this is different. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, can you just talk to animals? Not me. Um, I can't. I, th I thought it was, I thought y'all said it wasn't not an ant. I thought it, y'all said oh, it was. Oh, I mean, like it a... might have, I mean, I was thinking like it had like some kind of like potion of polymorph or, you know, that it was going to drink and then turn to like a human to escape, you know. There was a lot of I don't think that's how that works. Oh, I I am a goblin. Uh, can he's I examine? Uh, I don't know. Good. What do you want to examine? I just want to. Is it a dog? Make a uh, nature check. All right. 
Mary, we believe your lies about this being some kind of polymorph creature. It is not a dog, it is a jackal. But it is also not a jackal, as jackals don't wear pouches. This is, this is like, for a humanoid. No you have a feeling this is some sort of lycanthrope. Or shape changer. Mm. And he's tied so, up? I, I imagine you got him like a hog tied, where it's yeah. like all his yeah. balls, oh, like balls all his legs are just, are yeah. together. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Video like then I'll I'll use lay on hands to wake him up. Like I'll, how many? I'll spend, how much HP do you give him? I will spend him one point just to wake him up, basically. Yeah, one point. Uh, he wakes up. <laughs> he growls at you, grrr. Hey. Please, as, please, as, please assume your true form. Make a persuasion check. Eighteen. He does. Cancel. Goose side. His form does change into a humanoid jackal wear. Oh, wow, I was right. And what do you all want? Uh, why we are you... them all. That was my pack. No, we killed... We, one is unconscious and one ran away. Oh, they have to live with it? Is that what it is? Yeah. Why were you here? in deeply um i was told by a short cloaked humanoid that came into my woods a few days ago yeah you turn that music off otherwise i'm not gonna tell you anything <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh, i had to rock out for a bit <laughs> uh they hired me to bring my pack of jackals, who are now mostly dead, You're welcome. to Phandalin and find these ruins for bodies. That's all we're doing. That's not illegal. Uh, the body, for one thing, this is not your, these are not your, this is not your ruins. But it They're was nobody's a ruins. Well, they did use to house our compatriots from Acquisitions Incorporated, so that we were Best to find. Well, best for you is that we didn't find anybody alive. Did you find Just anybody dead? Oh, probably. Did you eat them? I mean, are they really a them at that point? Well, I mean, because I got like my like, jackals. I have, a, I have a thing where I gotta like bury them, give them a proper send off. Gorko steps in. What, are we going to eat a bunch of people on the way over here? Well, no, I was, but then, like, Nesmorn t helped us with our, our instincts and ro let us rose above it like a true friend. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, I remember that. I'm, uh, I'm going to put the uh, the marshmallows away. You're Why? Right. I, I, where did you get marshmallows? Marshmallow store. store. It's the temple of the coin maiden. They gave me marshmallows. Fair enough. Yeah, they have a, they have a theme going on. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Who do you? Would you be? One. Would you be able to bring us to the bodies? And two. Do you know anything more about who hired you? The bodies are going to be probably within. The stomachs of all of my pack that you killed, so get them yourself. And two, I don't know. They were cloaked. They wanted to stay hidden, I guess. And all we wanted were food. What about the smell? Could you, like, smell them? If we, if we like, could you, like, do your dog? It is very thing? harmful to our kind that we all have amazing olfactory memory. Do I mean, you know, you know all the other goblins that you've, you've ever found? No. What, what, what about all the other goblins? I didn't hear that last part. Sorry. The one, do you know all other goblins that you've found? That you've met? I mean, yeah, I know I know Gorko. Hi, Gorko! Hey! That's Barry. He's my friend. Yeah, that's Gorko. Oh. We're pals. 
Yeah. I... Mark, was the um, person we met in the swamp the, with the bugbears, was that a guy in a, like a cloak? Black cloak? It was in a cloak, but that's not uncommon. Well, he then. said short and round, basically. Mm. A.K.A. the mayor. Which is Short, like, yo, if we can, humanoid. Yeah, if we can use him to sniff out whoever we got, then we can find out who he, who hired him. How would we go about doing that, though? I don't know. We just we we we, help, we can't let him go. Like, hey, because whoever yeah. basically hired you to do this threw you in, into the like the meat grinder. Whoever hired them uh, wanted the, the, like... the bodies of of a team golden mongoose to be taken care of, maybe to hide evidence. Yeah, exactly. There's a conspiracy going on here. Now that has nothing to do with me or my clan that you murdered. Oh, well, that, it does now. You're yeah. part of it, buddy. Also, oh, what's your name? Oh. Uh, Hamibi. All Let's right, see. all right, Spot. <laughs> your name is Spot now. And your name is... Actually, what's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Barry. Okay, your your name is Larry. Okay, you know, I, I get it. And you, yeah. you're Daryl. And you, you're his other brother, Daryl. No. Can I go? a new spot to, to figure out who's behind this. You just gotta befriend Spot. We're good oh, at friendship. Not... Okay, well, here, look into my eyes. No, you have hypnotist powers. That's true. Uh, he looks into your eyes. Make a uh, wisdom saving throw, Barry. I do so at advantage. Here you um, go. Double nine. Rolls oh. twenty. Yeah, you uh, you don't fall asleep. <sighs> yeah, that's not gonna work on me. Do I, I look text. like? Do I look like a woodsman to you? I, I, I lived know. in the forest for a time. Hey, guy, don't look at his. Don't look at Spot's eyes. He'll try to put you to sleep. Look, if you if you pass it, you're good for at least a day. See, and a look at knife. Knife, please make a uh, wisdom saving throw. I was. I was. I it's so funny you called me because I was just about to say I looked right into his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so I am on board. Six. Yeah, you. Uh, you fall asleep. Oh, man. Here I go. <laughs> oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> oh, he <laughs> looks so me. cute when he's sleepy. Yeah. All right, bye. Uh, he's no, going to attempt to... Uh, dis he's just going to disengage and kind of hop oh, he's, away. he's still tied up. Yeah, yeah, he's hopping. Got him! <laughs> Barry's going to thwack him back to unconscious. <laughs> Make a, uh attack at advantage. Lonely, okay, I crit, here. so I'm really <laughs> black. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's he's out cold. Um, and I'm going to say he's basically just out for like 24 hours. <laughs> what do you got from that? Well, well, we got a new pet. We're going to take some while to train Spot, but I think he's going to be a good... He'll be, he'll be like a mascot. A mask Spot, if you will. Uh... All right, we're gonna okay. We're gonna do some work. Uh, like I do think we can use him because he's basically uh, uh, who who's who's making noises. Uh, uh, I can I search for the sound. Roll perception. Knife, you now wake up after a minute of nobody doing anything. Oh, y'all hear that? Knife, you knife, knife the adventure. Slip right through. Knife. <laughs> Knife just yawned. Maybe that was him. Uh, uh, okay. Anybody else looking around? Go ahead and make perception. Sure. Sound based. Well, I get no advantage for sound based. No. Barry rolls a four. He's busy, too busy talking about his new yeah. dog spot. Eight. Yeah, no idea. Can Gorko save the day? Can I give Gorko guidance? If I know he's trying to 
Nope, it gets a 16. Uh, yeah, I think it's coming in over the, the, that wall over in the corner there. He points up around here. I'm looking under rocks. Under a rock. All right. I'll go. Quack, I'll, I'll go. go. We're searching. I'll go. Look over the <laughs> here then. What's everyone looking for? Uh, you see. The golden mongoose. It's real. <laughs> it's true. Oh, man. The I want to find true. that. You. <laughs> I'm looking for a golden mongoose. So, um, I'd rather I'd rather find a silver monkey and his infamous yeah, shrine. I was, I was trying to work that joke baby. in there. <laughs> um, searching the area, you do see somebody who is covered by just debris and masonry and looks like they have been half blown up. Is it Jim uh, specifically, they look like this. And that looks like someone who has been through it all. They're just kind of like moaning in delirium. Um, sir, are you okay? You look, this, this person has something in their mouth. It is a specifically that looks to be a female, um, uh, boop -a doop -a doop. Half -orc. A half orc, female half orc buried under. Smashed and still smoldering, smoldering masonry. Uh, I try to remove what's in her mouth. As you take this out, it's some sort of like clockwork mechanism. And as soon as you remove it, uh, she says, uh, They came for it. They came for the timepiece. Uh, uh. I, uh, I use lay, lay, uh, lay on hands on her. Um, how many points do you give her? I give her two. All right. Wow, Jeez. generous. Yeah, generous. Uh, she's her wounds heal. She is still in a state of delirium. Hmm. We need to get her back to town. See if we can find a uh, cleric. Make oh. a medicine check. Uh, Anybody, is... Zeke, you can do it as well. You know, if you two wish. Yeah. very hot nuns that could help you out. <laughs> <laughs> um. That's it. It's likely that she has been here since this exploded, as far as you know, several days ago. She's probably dehydrated, as well as uh, injured, probably very hungry, too. The dehydration, dehydration is the uh, thing. She will need some rest, recuperation, and, you know, water. water. <laughs> I, I, I slowly feed her some water, because I know if I just give her water, she's going to make herself sick. Yeah. Okay, so you start giving her the basics of first aid. So she's eventually going to be fine. She's not going to just pass away like right now with a dramatic sort of, uh, tell them I said, uh, that's <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> I want to take a look at that little clockwork piece. Okay. I toss it over to Zeke. Dink, dink, dink. Does it look um, similar to the Ori? Make a uh, intelligence check. Uh, I, I Can I help? Can I give him guidance on that? You can give him guidance. You know he's looking over it. Yeah. Doing two things at once. Wow. Two hands. I don't need one hand for it. 17. Uh, 17. I don't know why I have advantage, but... Because uh, That's fine. Oh, oh, guidance. Okay, never mind. That's okay. You, you, it's fine. <laughs> 17's fine. Um, it definitely... Up something real quick. This appears to be. I don't have a description of it. Um, it's like a, it's a, a gizmo. A gizmo a uh, it's a gizmo, about... but I'm going to say that it has sort of some like arrows on it, pointing to it. And it seems like when you move it like left and right, that kind of like a compass, it seems to stick to a direction. It's not working perfectly. Arrows. Mm. It's yeah. It's not. It's not a super. Um, dan it's not like super damaged or anything like that. Maybe just you know fix a handful of things, but Do it think, does like definitely this? match the orrery uh, housing. Okay, so I'm just gonna pocket it away. And okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tinker with it later. Okay. Do anything else? 
I want to put like a like a like a band of like cloth around Spot's uh, eyes and put like a like a collar kind of like with rope because Barry's gonna like bear, this is Spot or Ham Hanabi now known as Spot Barry's gonna try to like domesticate. See, this is great because Hanabi is a game where you can't see what your pieces are. So, <laughs> um, okay, so. He's now unconscious, restrained, uh, blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, goblins always have these, just in case. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, making sure he can't bite. I don't want any of you guys turning into a wear spot. So, sort of like, okay, guys, he's our pet now. You're just dragging him unconscious yeah. by the freaking neck. Oh, yeah. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my new dog. Name is Spot. <laughs> you see, he's spot a medium humanoid, loud. so he's probably bigger than you. Maybe we can. Um... <laughs> yeah, but Barry is very strong. Maybe this they is have, true. like, a, a prison, we, prison cell we can put him in to question him later. Oh yeah, he needs to be crate trained. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Hey, what would you like to do? You have to go poopies. Go poopies. All right. Well, let's uh, let's gather everybody up and head back to town. See if we can get find like some help, some like medical help, and maybe maybe get a room at the inn for everybody. For now, for now, because we can't stay here tonight. Let's say it's starting to get later in the day. Uh, boop, boop, let me DM. Also, and then we'll send word back to back to the HQ, and maybe they'll send some people out to help us rebuild. Yeah, do we have a way to contact HQ, or is that just go back? Send send a mail. Find somebody with the sending, or you know, or send a cur or send a courier. I don't know. Yeah. As an OVL, like so, way of contacting. So, where would you like to go to recoup for the night? Well, let's drop off the jackal where to. No, so I was thinking. We, we loudly make it known that we have this jackal. Like, we should let everyone know that the jackalware was involved in the town or whatever and is going to tell us what what who he was hired to to see if we can't spur to action the conspirators to try to like also i think they were just there to find the bodies they probably you don't know if they caused the explosion yet. yeah well but they do know that someone was hired them to basically cover up the evidence so if we say we have someone who knows who hired him then they might be like, uh oh, I gotta silence him. Yeah, so we'll get, um, we... I guess we don't know the half orc's name yet, but we'll get her to the. Get her to the Stone Hill Inn. Get her resting. Okay. Or maybe, maybe we the, can take uh... her to the Stride of Luck. This is just the opportunity and fame they need. They need all the help they can get. Place is a dump. So, uh, are you going to stop at Stonehill Inn first, then? Or are you just going to go straight to the Shrine of Luck with an injured person and an unconscious humanoid? I, I, I think, I think you put the lady in the <laughs> inn, and Barry's plan is to use the Shrine of Luck as part of the trap. Because he believes <laughs> that because they worship the same, like, goddess, that they would be into his plan no matter how stupid because that's all, <laughs> all right. do you want to do you want to say that you head off with uh, you want to say that you head off with hamby and gorko to to the shrine yeah okay so you're, you're, you're heading off <laughs> nezorm uh knife and zeke do you want to take this injured person to yes the Stone Hill Inn? Yeah. we're going to take her to the go with Barry. I think him him okay. and Gorko on their own get in Knife trouble. sneaks off to the Temple of the Coin Maiden and peers in through the window. <laughs> and then I guess I'll and then I guess I'll just carry this injured lady to this to the inn. Alright. Go to the inn. <sighs> As you head in there's two people uh, uh sort of behind the, the counter in this sort of nice sort of 
upkept um, uh, tavern slash inn. More the inn, it's more of a bed and breakfast, as I said earlier, so it's not much of a tavern, but they still serve food and beverage uh, uh, as you for people, especially people staying in there. Um, this is one of the largest buildings in town. Business is run by, uh, well, you don't know that yet. Um, you see two people like, okay, now, Toblin, let's go over this one more time. I'm in charge. And Toblin uh, turns back and is like, uh, just for today, just for the day. Oh, yes, customers and... Um, Oh, that person looks very injured. Um, welcome to the Stonehill Inn. Um, um, yes. Do you know of a... Well, we might need a bed for her, and if you know a doctor or some sort of healer. Um, well, you'd probably want to check out one of the clerics. Sister Gariel could probably give you some clerical needs, although there's also the, uh, uh, the Temple of the, uh, the, temple of the, the Coin Maiden. And, uh... Trio, tri, Triana s says to Tolbin, um, of course you would suggest that. I think a little bit of rest and relaxation would do her fine. She'd be taking a room. Yeah, we already laid on hands, but not in a creepy way. Right. I'm a, I, I am a, uh, I'm a, I am a paladin of, of a, uh, Bahama, so I used late, I, you know, healed her as best I could. Well, that's good for you. Um, so would you like a room or not? I had, had but my wife is straight to business I, all the time. We, yes, we're probably. But would you like a room a or not? Yes, we would like. Actually, we need a couple of rooms. In fact. Uh, okay, uh, it'll be one silver piece for for room. I'll get us a gold, and we'll let you stay for the uh, the whole week. I toss her a gold coin. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Couple rooms just up there. Just get, get you all settled. Pip, come take their bags. And this little twelve-year-old boy comes out of the uh, out of like the back room. Uh. Oh, okay. Yes. Hi. Um. Can I have your bags? Um. Or just give me the lady. She looks like your bag. It's Angus. Boy Hello. Genius. Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Earthbound. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had uh, one, one of my other... On another game, I, I think my brother played a character and just used this as the art. So I already had him, and he was already like a 12-year-old boy that I have as a token on here already. <laughs> uh, we have young Sheldon over here. Great. <laughs> Hell yeah, young Sheldon rules. Yeah. Uh, can, uh, bags? Anything? It, um, no, I, I, no? I, I will carry her upstairs. All right, can I mind. carry something else? Anything? No? Uh, uh you can... Oh, I'm uh, never going to make it in this town. He just goes storming off. No, no, I, 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 I'll... Nope, I'll, he's, I'll, outside, I'll he's outside, he's left. I have a little uh, bag of sand he could carry. Little bag of sand? I'll yeah. carry it. Yeah, I'll take it. Yes, I'll take it. Okay, here you go. Don't touch the ori, though. Thank you. Uh, what's that? Never you mind. Oh, okay. All right. All right. You're able to get a, uh, an inn and um, or a room at this inn and sort of just pretty much have a rest. And that'll be what will end up with what that'll be what you do for the uh, end of today. Yes. Um, let me put I, uh, we'll I'll, I'll, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I will use the last of my lay on hands on her. I'll okay. Use, I'll pop the rest of my points to get her as healed up as possible. Okay. Everybody's tokens are named. And then last Your version of Toblin and his wife are very different than mine. Yeah, I uh, just picked some random ones that I had. Also, what's going on <laughs> in the background with this? Like a ten of I for, I, this is from one of the adventure things. It's probably got like an Ublex behind him or something. <laughs> but he's the only one that looked like handsome enough, but not like too handsome. Well, in my game, but looked like he like, could like, like work a, He's kind of like an older guy. Yeah. All right, and with that, go back to. Uh, what is this one still working here? Look around. I you head as back I to the as shrine. I, I oh yeah, go I, ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. As I as I carry her upstairs, I get this weird feeling—an echo, maybe a life, 
another one that I had. And I look around to see if I see anybody that, for some reason, feels familiar. Oh, he's still in your Make. stick, Barry. That's Make okay. I would check. feel that the Ori is starting to give everyone Barry's stick. <laughs> Give a make a perception check. Whatever hint of familiarity, it could be the same as like deja vu, where who knows yeah. if deja vu is a thing or just like your brain messing up for a few seconds. Yeah, uh, he uh, he just shakes it off and carries you see one and in, goes you on. See them all. <laughs> yeah. Back at the shrine, uh, Macklin is not here at the moment, but Sister Grail is. Gariel. Oh, welcome back. Hi, uh, Sister um, Gary. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, hi. My hi. name's Barry. I talked to you in another timeline. Uh, I, uh, I worship your god. Oh, oh, that's good. That's that's good. I I don't know why you're bringing a pet. Oh, this 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 is a uh, very vital for importance. You see, because Timora is the lo for goddess of good fortune. And let me tell you, we got some good fortune for you right here. And is as um, very gestures to the unconscious werewolf jackal. Are, are you sure you didn't mean to take him to the other one? No. Nope. The sisters? No. Nope. You see, you see, you see this right here, Sister Gary, is yeah. the key witness of the plot of the blown up manor. Oh? Yeah. Yeah, this dog, whose name is Spot, you can call him Spot, he loves to be called <laughs> it. Um, he was hired to eat the bodies of the, him and his pack were hired to eat the bodies of the, uh, of the burned out mansion, but we mm. caught him in the act, and now we're going to use him to sniff out who hired him, because we believe that's going to be part of the plot. And then I think that the Shrine of Timora and usage and helpfulness to save the town and uncover the plot is going to have even more good fortunes, and then we'll have the nice building, and the coin people can live in the sh the rock shack. She's she's not following you for most of it, but when you <laughs> say that, like, you're they're going to get the better building, like, she's going to, like, the Timora's going to get the better building, her eyes just widen, and she's, like, with you 110%. <gasps> yes. Yes! What can I do to help? So what we're going to do is I need you to help spread the word that uh, the brave adventurers at Acquisitions Incorporated have acquired a key witness slash uh, co-conspirator in the in, <laughs> in in the plot of the blown up manor, and that they're going to help us discover who was truly behind it because they know they met with them, and that way we're going to lure them out. In the plot of the blown up manor. Exactly. <laughs> and we're going to use that, and then we're going to lure him out, and then we're, I'm going to save the day, and Tamora's going to get the credit, and I'm going to get on the mayor, and then I'm going to use funds of the town to give Tamora the good building, and it's going to work, and everyone's going to be happy, and Spot's going to get a new home, and, and Knife's going to get money. Yeah. Uh, let me, okay, I'm writing this down, and I'm not that good of a penmanship, pen, penship person. What was the oh, second okay. step? Okay, so first, yeah, all you got to do is yeah. you need to let everyone know. All right, that, I'm on uh, it. Okay, here we go. We're going to do okay. it. She's all super right. excited, and she starts heading off and telling everybody. <laughs> okay, got that last part. Knife, knife gets the money. Yeah, no, yeah that's important. Knife, that, that's key to the plan. Yeah, knife, got it. Well, no, it's got spelled it. knife, knife. Um... You, you'll you'll get it. You'll get it. You know how to, it's spelled how it sounds. Yeah. He's off at the next, like, just the nearest house knocking on their door. And you can hear them saying, Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Barry? He's going to save the town with his friend Knife. Yeah. First door just slams in her face. Is like, okay, all right, come back. Oh, home. that's good. Right. We got our, We got our work. <laughs> all right, Knife, let's take Spot and go take a nap because the trap has been set. Done. Hello, sir. Do you have a minute to talk about like our Lord and Savior, Lightning McQueen? He's in the <laughs> cup. Is, is he in Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> no, maybe. We'll see what Kingdom Hearts 4 is to happen. With that, you now have 
a furry gimp, mm -hmm. an injured, um, an injured, uh, um, Two Face, uh, and Barry, uh, and Gorko. Gorko, no, we're getting a pair party. <laughs> yeah, we are uh, amassing very odd things. Like one, one of my Dungeons and Dragons philosophies is if you're going to be good, you have to try to recruit as many people as you can yes. to your party. Because uh, if you're evil, you just kill. It's fun. But if you're it's good, bad. no, we gotta get more. That's where we'll end it tonight. <laughs> it's like, Pip, you want to join our party? <laughs> oh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, Pip might be the mayor. Do you need to? Do you need me to carry things? I can carry things. You need to carry the legislative responsibility of the town, Pip. Now, what do you know about city ordinances? Oh, oh, lots of things. And he goes on like a four-hour tirade. <laughs> uh, good job, everybody. Let me add your potential. Uh, best friends. Best friends. Forever. Best friends. I mean, you don't really know what this injured. I mean, you don't really know what this injured person's gonna do. They might be in on it. <laughs> but I guess we'll find that out. Where if there's another wizard with magical artifact embedded in their chest. <laughs> Everybody can go ahead and take a long rest as this is going to just, you know, we're going to take, take uh, get right into things of the next day tomorrow or the, on the next game. We will not be doing next week, most likely, because it is Boxing Day, day after Christmas. Yeah, it's very Christmas. Uh, I'm well, not next, gonna have anything prepped. It is Christmas. Next, so next week is yeah. Christmas itself. Yeah. Then, but, then but, for that's the, why well. I said next Tuesday is is Boxing Day, oh. day after Christmas. I know it's a British thing, but you know, where Canada else does it too? Boxes? Canada's yeah. not a real place. Yeah, oh, then I've for been the, there. Oh, it gave me stroke. Well, well, I'm personally free on Monday, but no. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna. Do I, I will not be. Yeah. <laughs> then, um, for, uh, then for the last time this year, I must ask: Do we that... level up? Uh, Gorko levels up. Nobody else does. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Gorko finally does it. Level awesome. two goblin. Let's go. <laughs> and it's off the name of the podcast, so you don't have to say it anymore. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's my it's my catchphrase. Uh, I like the new podcast everybody... name. Is Let's this, like this be fun. under the new podcast? Eh, not not officially yet, but pretty soon. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he's like trying a... to get the paperwork done, but he keeps messing up the the signature. I'm so <laughs> I'm slowly. Uh, I mean, I could just change the name right now. Who cares? But I'm like, <laughs> I think it'd be really funny if this was the like inaugural. Like, all right, here's the new podcast, and it's our campaign. We'll officially do it like <laughs> when, the, when the you know the real new game starts, not this silly stuff. Life imitates. Art. Hey. Hey, this is important. Yeah. No, this no, this is this is the the yin to the yang. You gotta have both. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Yeah, like we need. Oh, that's what that's what I should have named the sisters. Yin oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> pretty good. I watched there are, that. There are... I watched a bit of that one with you guys talking to the three elf ladies trying to figure out the hag. I was yeah. I was in that Twitch chat. Oh, nice. I I told <laughs> Dustin to start eating people, but man, man. But... Dude, like... All right, I am out. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, thanks. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, Mark. Yeah.